Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Anzi with what if Naruto was Arceus' Jinchuriki. So let's get started. We start off right after the Madra and Hashirama battle ended. This time Madra had awakened the Rinnegan before challenging Hashirama as he had taken some cells from sparring. Madra then went on to fight Hashirama but Hashirama managed to access Sage 6 pass mode by having Ashura help him unknowingly which caused them to kill each other. Madra then used his Izanagi to revive himself, but unknown to both Madra and Hashirama, Zetsu had slapped on his seal on both of them before the fight. Due to the seal, Indra and Ashura could no longer reincarnate and had moved on to Limbo. We now go to Indra and Ashura's point of view, as they see themselves waking up in a black void. As they waited to be reincarnated, they, got, they waited for a golden light to show that they had been reincarnated, but suddenly a white light appeared and shocked them both. I'm disappointed in you, my sons, Agaroma says. Father, I was just stopping Indra, Ashura says. Your fight has gone on long enough. Both of you wanted peace. How can both of you achieve peace with others when you can't even achieve peace with your own brother? You two share the same blo blood and you can't forgive each other? Indra, you have failed all of my teachings with your aggressive nature. And then because of jealousy, you attacked Ashura. How can you ever hope to achieve peace, failure? Ashra, you're too kind of forgiving. Some people need to be killed. What if after you create peace in the world, somebody keeps on threatening it repeatedly? Are you going to just let the guy walk alive so that when you die, they can just ruin it? But it doesn't matter anymore, Agroma says before they were about to speak. Black Zetsu, my mother's will, has slapped a seal on your you. That made it so that you stay in limbo forever. You therefore cannot reincarnate. Because of your foolishness, the world will end, Agroma says. As both Indra and Ashra looked devastated, all they wanted to achieve peace. Father, we can fix this, they both said. No, Indra. No, Ashra. Both of you failed me. Both of you failed the world. Both of you failed your mother. As soon as, no, as, soon as Agroma said mother, both Indra and Ashra looked down. I will find a fix myself. I need to give Naruto Uzumaki, the child of prophecy, some power. He was originally meant to have you, Ashura, and you were meant to help power him up enough to save the world and also change Indra. But now that can't happen, so I need to find a fix. So both of you will not mutter another word as I think on how to fix this. Your mother will be disappointed in you, especially you, Indra, for fighting with your little brother. You promised your mother that you would protect him, but you failed. And by failing, you doomed the world. Also, by working by the will of my mother, you killed your mother. You turn traitor to our blood, Agroma says. Agroma spent years thinking of a solution as he decided to visit a powerful god for some guidance. This god had destroyed his world because he saw how corrupted humans got. Agroma then left to find this god. Hello there, Agroma. Why are you here? The figure asked as Agroma looked at the burned down world before him. Hello there, Lord Arceus. I needed some advice from you, Agroma said as he explains everything that happened in the Naruto world. He argues, Interesting, your childs are very childish and selfish, but I may have a solution for you. You see, I've grown rather bored after destroying the world, after the humans tried to enslave me and use me for their own purposes. So therefore, I have no source of entertainment like I used to watching mortals. So, after hearing about this Jinchuriki thing, it intrigued me. What if I were to become what a biju is to a Jinchuriki for your child of prophecy. But I will only give the child of prophecy my powers if he's worthy of it. And also you will change the prophecy to not the boy will save the world, but the boy will judge the world, Arceus says. Very well, I can agree with that. I will change the prophecy. Also, my mother was pregnant with my sister and I sense that she'll be young Naruto's mate. Please look after her as well. She'll play a huge role in the prophecy. I can feel it, Haguruma says. We now skip over to the Ninetales attack. Krishna had given birth to triplets. The first was Naruto who she loved the most. And then was Mito who sh she felt some love for. But the third was Menma. For some reason she could sense that Menma was corrupted. But Naruto was born with some strange markings that made her look that made him look like a Jinchuriki. The markings he was born with was Arceus's ring. Naruto giggled at the moon as he felt like something was staring and watching over him. Opto then came and tried to attack Naruto when a plate appeared right above him as Naruto's eyes glowed pink and a pink glow surrounded Obito as Naruto made him go flying back. Obito then took 
Manma, and then everything went to canon with Krishna dying. I mean, not a dying sealing the Naruto's in two. Manma and Mito. But what had not, but what not had used was a psychic plate to protect himself, which was one of Arceus's power. As before they died, Minato and Krishna thought, what was that that Naruto did? We now see the third Hokage come and take the children. Soon Dry came and said that he would take Menma to train as he believes that he is the child of prophecy. The civilians blamed Naruto for the attacks as Dry said that both Mito and Menma have some chakras that he can sense from the children, the chakras that belong to the Naruto's, while Naruto didn't have any, so they thought that Naruto had the soul of the Naruto's when Naruto doesn't even have any. We now go to the moon's point of view. We see a regretful Kaguya giving birth to a girl. This was during the Naito's attack. This girl was Yaku Suski, Kaguya's daughter. Hello Yaku chan. I hope I don't hurt you like I did Hagoroma and Hamura, she says regretfully. Over the years in confinement and having realized her mistake after dispelling her evil, aka Zetsu, she realized, she realized how much she made her children suffer by killing their wives. Then she truly regretted how many people she had killed just to please the Osuskis. Yaku, my beautiful daughter, I'll free you from this prison soon. I beg you, my daughter, please fix my wrongs and save this world. With the child of prophecy at your side, Kaguya says. She then agreed to herself that she would train Yaku, protect herself and to be able to train the child of prophecy. She then looked towards the world looking at the child of prophecy. As baby Yaku turned to see baby Naruto and smiled, and giggled as Kage laughed and Naruto smiled back at Yaku. Looks like the two of you will get along with each other, Kage says, as she shipped both of them together. We now time skip to the age of five of Naruto and Yaku. Naruto's life had been the worst. He had been thrown out of the orphanage, the villagers hated him and treated him like trash. Mama beat him for no reason and also would insult him with his friend Sasuke and Kiba. However, in this universe, Mita would protect him from Menma. The first time Mita had played with him, Naruto asked why and she revealed that they were family. She then explained how Menma was jealous that Minato gave everything of the Uzumaki and Namikaze clans to Naruto. After a year of getting bullied, Naruto along with Mito had finally had enough of what Menma was doing and both Naruto and Mito went to the third Kage and said that they decided that they disowned Menma from the clan. There was quite a stir in the village as the villagers wanted Menma to be the clan head but after Gruzen had silenced them by sending Danzo to kill some of the protesters, which Danzo was surprisingly on Naruto's side, but that was because he knew that Naruto wasn't important or he presumed that Naruto wasn't important because he presumed that Naruto only had the soul of the Naruto's, which was nothing, no power. But what he didn't know was Naruto held something even more powerful than Naruto's, even more powerful than the Sage of Six Paths, even more powerful than all of the Osuskis combined, the god of Pokemon himself, Aki. Danzo thought that he could at least get Menma when Dryo was away into his armbu by promising revenge on Naruto and manipulating him. And also since Menma won't be under clan protection, Hiruzen can't stop him. We now go to Naruto's point of view. Naruto was walking down the alley as he returned from playing with Mito when a mob of villagers surrounded him. Hello there you damn demon, we got you now. First you attack our village and then you hang out with our Hokage's daughter and finally you convince her to disown Lord Memma with yourself, being clan head. You disgraceful demon, how dare you do such a disgusting thing, they yelled. The leader of the group, who had a haircut that made him look like a dickhead, aka Kizashi Hirano, came up to Naruto. Well, 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 demon, now you die, he said, as he charged at Naruto and tried to stab him in the heart, but Naruto blocked it with his hand, as Naruto screamed out in pain. Hey boss, let's torture the demon before you kill him, a mob member said. Yeah, he made Lord Memma feel pain. Let's torture him, Kizashi said. As the mob started to stomp on Naruto, one of them kicked Naruto in the guts while the other kicked him in the head. Naruto was bleeding head from shoulders, knees and toes from the beating. As Naruto passed out, well now you die, Kazashi says, as he brang a knife down, but it never connected, as something stopped his arm from moving. He then realised someone was holding on to it. You dare touch my darling and think that you will live to see another day, a white pale skinned girl says, as she brought out a blade. Kazashi looked around and he was horrified. You killed them, Kazashi said looking at the dead bodies. He tried to run away but was stopped as the girl made wood erupt from the ground surrounding him and holding him tight as he screamed but he was gagged by the wood. Ha 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 ha, you hurt my darling. Now I will make you suffer. As 
And I also put a silencing seal so don't think about screaming for help, she says as she kicked him in the balls as he screamed out in pain. She then had a nail clipper as she pulled his nail one by one, making him scream. Please, please, please stop, he yelled. Why would I stop now? You hurt my darling. And now I will hurt you, she said as she smiled. An insanely under type of smile as he grabbed a te- teeth clipper and clipped all of his teeth one by one, making him scream. Please, no more, is that she said. What do you mean, Noble? When my darling her, asked for the assassins to stop, they never stopped. So why would I stop from the person who hurt my darling and tried to have him killed, she says, as she as she smashed his kneecaps. Please let me die, the broken man said. He then used a water-style jutsu and then a lightning-style jutsu, shocking him dead as he screamed out in pain. That's what you get for touching my darling Naruto. I'll do anything for my darling Naruto. Kill, torture, massacre, whatever he needs of me shall be done. He was my light in my darkness, and now I shall be his light, she says. We now go to Naruto's point of view. Naruto was standing in a beautiful hall with pillars as he came face to face with a horse-like being. Do not fear me, boy. I am Arceus, your partner, and I wanted to talk to you, the creature known as Arceus says. I am Naruto, and what did you want to talk about, he says. Well, 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 little Naruto. I am Arceus, your partner, Arceus says as he explains to each Indra and Ashra and the deal he made with Hagoroma. Wow, you're so cool. So how do I use your powers, Naruto says. I will give you access to the plates of the basic elements. Fire, water, wind, earth, lightning. But I will also give you access to a plate that you've been using since you were a kid. The psychic plate. The rest you will have to earn and will come to you when you need them the most. Now, someone's waiting for you so you can leave the mindscape, Arceus says. As Naruto wakes up in his house, he was confused. Who brought him here? As he feels his head was on something soft, he looks up and blushes. He sees the most beautiful girl he's ever seen in his life. Hello, my darling. I'm Yako Suski, and I want to be with you, the girl who now identified as Yako said. Darling? Naruto says with a blush. Yes, you're my darling, she says, petting him on his whiskers. Okay, wait a second, Yako chan. Can you explain to me why I'm your darling? Naruto says. Okay, darling, let's start off with this. Do you know the Sage of so- Six Path story? Yako says as Naruto nods and, ex- and Yako explains. She then explains Indra and Ashura story and how they died and stopped reincarnating. So darling, I am Kaguya's third child. I was born on the same day as you. I had been trained every second of my life since I was born by my mother. I know she wanted me to fix her mistake but due to that, that meant I could never have a normal life. So when she gave me the chance to watch over you, I was happy and I became obsessed with you. You became my light in my darkness, giving me es- escapism from my training. You're so heroic, taking the hate of the villagers and not even giving into it and not hurting them. Although I wish that you really hurted them, she says. I hate that village for hurting someone so cute like you. I gained a crush on you, on you, you see. But most importantly, the reason why I love you is because you gave me something fun to do in my solitude. I fell in love with you. Every day after I did, up training, I would come to see you and my heart would start beating fast and faster every time, every second I was with you. Every time I had to go and train, my thoughts were on will you survive because of the villagers. I live and breathe for you, my darling. And if you don't want me, at least use me, she says. Please don't throw me away, as she started crying. Naruto could not see a girl cry as he hugged her. He never felt so loved in his life. Only his sister loved him, but she wouldn't give her life for him. Not like how Yaku was doing. Accept your love, Yaku-chan, Naruto says. Accept your love, Yaku-chan, Naruto says. Good. Now I just need to make sure that Mito doesn't have a crush on my darling. He's mine and I won't let anybody take him away from me, she thought to herself. Over the next few years, Yaku stayed with Naruto cooking for him. We now see Yaku at an underground base, as lying there was thousands of Ambu dead. As Yaku walked along the corridor with a sword in her hand, she then saw a round table with civilian council and elder council sitting at it. Donzo, how are we going to get rid of that demon scum Naruto? One of them asked. Yeah, you convinced us to let Lord Menma lose his birthright by agreeing to disown Menma from the Namakazu Uzumaki clan. Why was that? What was your plan? We want to know, another said. But suddenly, all of the council members in the snow- and the shinobi in the room, the root shinobi, were cut down. Apart from Donzo, who was wrapped in trees and had his arms and eyes pierced and cut off. You are a threat to my darling naruto so die, Yaku says, not even letting him say another word as she slashed his throat. Anyone who threatens my Naruto-kun, my darling, 
would die. Yaki says. As she goes to Nati, burns her clothes, cleans herself of all her blood, and snuggles up with him in bed as she pulls his head into her breast and sleeps. The village was now under distress. Several council members have defected from the village and were dead. There was a rumor going around that Hruzin had started that the council had been disabandoned because they were planning to defect from the village and had been giving village secrets. But unknown to the village, Hruzin said this because he did not want to panic that the council were killed off. So he brought them out to be monsters who tried to defect. We now go to Nato's point of view. Nato's eyes opened as he was smelling something nice. He goes and takes a shower, brushes his teeth and heads down. When he heads down, he sees Jaku who kisses him and leads him to the kitchen. Nato's eyes then bulges out. What he sees was steak, ramen and lots of dessert. Jaku chan how did you manage to make this? How can you afford this? I don't have that kind of money, Nato says. Darling, don't worry about it. I got this legit. That's all you need to know, she says. Nato then hugs her. I've never eaten this much food before. Thanks, Shaka chan Nato says. My darling, just thank me. I made him happy, Yaku says in a low voice so Nato couldn't hear, but they blush on her face. Yaku chan I need to go to Academy, Nato says. Yaku got angry, but quickly hid it as she handed him a packed lunch as Nato leaves thanking her. That damn academy forcing me to be apart from my darling Naruto. Perhaps I should build up. No, people would, would then blame my darling because they don't like him. And I don't want my darling to be sad or have any problems because I got too impatient, he says. Naruto goes to the academy. There was a test for him, so he had to go early or else they'll fail him. Naruto is walking when he saw Jiraiya, Mito and Memma come up. Mito comes up to Naruto and hugs him. Big brother, are you ready for the test, she says. Yeah, Naruto says. Mito, don't talk to that disgrace. We're the child of prophecy. We shouldn't be seen with such nothingness. This is only a demon, Memma says. Shut up, Memma. You're always jealous that mum and dad loved him more than you and gave him everything that they owned. The Namikaze and Uzumaki clan head status goes to him, not to you. You were disowned, she says, as Memma began charging at Naruto, only for Dry to stop him. Stop causing a scene. Keep your emotions in check. It's unbecoming of the child of prophecy, Jirai says. And you, Naruto, you should give... Your clan had st status to Memma, especially since he's the child of prophecy and will save the world. And stop making Mito and him fight. The childs of prophecy need to be aligned if the world is to be saved, Jiraiya says, as everyone cheers and agrees apart from Mito. No, mom and dad gave me the clan head status, not to Memma. No wonder why you're so sad and miserable in your life. Your student became more successful than you while you stayed in the shadows. You always took the person with the most talent and leached onto them like leeches. Like, let me tell you something. My father, who was a high journey before he even met you, Dryer, and then you heard of prophecy, you tried to train him. But he turned out he wasn't a child of prophecy, but he still became Hokage, so he leached off his reputation. And now you think that the child of prophecy is either Memo or Mito, and you try to leech off them. No wonder Snoddy doesn't like you and never will. You're just a pervert who needed others to build your reputation, just like you needed. Hochimaru and Snadi to get known, who carried you all the way you dirty dead lost. And then you need my father to help keep your reputation. That's why you took him in. And finally, you, you the only reason you're known is because of the toads. Without them, you'll be nothing but a low joining. So don't talk about my mother and father. And don't talk about me, you filthy tra traitorous trash. At least I'm from a clan, a powerful clan, unlike you, you unknown bastard, Nata says, walking as Mito walks with him, but stops. I hate you, pervert, perverted bastard. You always hurt my big brother summer, Mito says, as she runs and hugs Naruto. Don't worry, big brother. If they don't want to be your friends, I'll be your friend, Mito says. The class was doing a taijutsu test, as Mito had beaten up Sasuke, and now it was final fight between Memma and Naruto. Demon, you took the big shit to dry. Let's see if you can back it, Memma says. Let's see what the student of the toad signing, the worthless signing, can do, Naruto says. Naruto, Naruto, use my plates. Show him that we are the strongest of the Jinchurikis, Arceus says. Naruto then has five plates appear around him. This represented fire, water, electric, ground and flying, counted to the five basic elements, aka the only elements that Menma can use. As a golden glow appeared around Naruto and the plates. What's that meant to do, Menma says laughing, as everybody starts laughing, as then Menma made some hand signs. Fire star, fireball jutsu, Menma says, firing a huge fireball two times bigger than Sasuke's. And sent it towards 
Not to. We stood there. Suddenly the fire was, was absorbed into the plates. How did you do that? Minma asked. As the bastard charged towards Nato with a punch. I spin, Nato says. Just as Memma was about to connect, connect, as he created a fire tornado, as Memma went into the fire tornado, and when he came out, he was burnt all over. His head was still spinning. Multiple fire punches, Nato yelled. As Nato got close, dodging Memma's desperate punches to get him away from Memma, as Nato then started to connect his own fire punches, aiming for the burn marks, making Memma yell out in pain as he was bleeding of all of his burn marks. How dare you hurt me, demon? I'm the child of prophecy. You're a waste of space. I should have been clan head, but mum and dad chose you, the failure, the weakling. Who are you to beat me? You're nothing. You have no fighting skills. Nobody likes you, Memma yells as his eyes turned red and the red fox aura appeared around him. Memma then heard a voice in his head. It was the Ninetales telling him, I don't like you, Memma, but show that boy who the Alpha Jin Cherokee is. Memma charged at incredible speed, landing a hit on Naruto. Sending Naruto flying as he speeds up and jumps and then lands on Naruto's stomach. Sending Naruto crashing into the ground. Naruto came out a bit bloody. Ah ha demon. This is my power. I'm the strongest, the best, Memma says. Back at Naruto's house, Yako felt like killing that bastard Memma for some reason. As she was sharpening her blade. Back to the fight. Naruto struggles to get up. He had never trained before. Those moves came to him instinctively when unlocking the plates. Naruto, I'm sending you more of my power. You'll be able to use more powerful of the Pokemon attacks, Arceus says, as a golden glow turned into a mini Arceus, healing all of Naruto's injuries instantly. As Naruto got the power equivalent to a full Krama at 5 tails, Krama seeing this sent enough power, aka 7 tails worth of chakra into Memma, since this Krama was still half Krama. This is insane, Uruka sensei. You have to stop this. Memma's going too far, Mito says. I can't. Dry Summer gave me the order not to stop the fight. And even if I had the orders to stop the fight, I can't. They're too strong, Iruka says. Being angry at Memma for using his demonic power. Now the entire class was terrified of these two titans that were battling it out. Naruto gained two more plates. The normal and the psychic plate. Naruto then rushes off with extreme speed. And then changes straight into fusion flare, striking Memma. As Memma used both his arms to stop it. But Naruto shifted his weight towards one side. AK Memma's left side, burning Memma's whole left arm and left side of his body, leaving his body severely burnt as Naruto then charged a hyper beam when Memma got sent flying back towards the ground as where Memma was about to land as Memma was caught in the explosion radius as blood started to pour out of him as he fell down and was knocked out. The Naito started healing Memma. Winner, Naruto says. Cheater, Sakura yelled. Yeah, he can't beat my boyfriend, Hinata yells. How can that loser beat his son's apprentice, Eno says. Shut up, class. Naruto won fair and square. It was Memo who cheated using the Ninetales chakra. Stop bullying my big bro, Mito says. Oh, shut up, Mito. All you're good for is breeding, Kiba says. As Naruto used his extreme, extreme speed in front of Kiba and a thunder punched him, proceeding to fire punch him repeatedly. Never talk about my sister like that again, you stupid dog, Naruto says. I'll report you, Naruto, Kiba says. Good luck with that, that one. There's no more counsel left. Since the Uchiha's are dead, you can't do anything. You have no one to report to. And who is in GG is on my side once I tell him what you said to me, dog boy. Naruto says. I said, I'll do your sister in front of you, you stupid bastard. And I'll show you her true colours as my whore. Kiba says. Before Naruto used Will-O-Wisp burning Kiba repeatedly. Repeatedly. Every five minutes, Kiba's body gave up and then he fainted as the burn stopped happening after that. Naruto, that's enough. Kiba, you have detention for what you said. Sakura, Ino and Hinata. For distracting the class, you too will also have detention. And Naruto, unfortunately, you'll be suspended for two days for hurting a student, even though he did provoke you. You must learn you can't attack a fellow clan heir, even though you are a clan heir. Kiba laughs at Naruto as Naruto comes in, fire punching Akumaru, sending him flying as Kiba yells, I hope your stupid pet dies from that, Naruto says, as the bell rings and both Mito and Naruto head towards Naruto's house. On the way, Mito sees the glares that the village is giving them. I'm sorry for how the village treats you. It's all dry as fault, that liar. I hate him. All he does is force us to train Mito, says. Not to then hugs her. Only a few more years. And then when you're snowy, you can finally move into our clan estate. Mito says, plus I don't really care about the villagers. I only care about two people. As he looked at Mito and then not to blush is thinking about Yako. Oh, my big brother got a crush. Who is she? Mito says as Nato runs into his house and shuts the door, not wanting to 
be teased as when as soon as he enters his head is banged against something soft. Naruto looks up and blushes. Yeah, 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 yeah Akko chan. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going, Naruto says. My darling put his head between my breasts, Yako says, celebrating silently as she recomposed herself. Don't worry my darling, it wasn't your fault. I was waiting for you anyway so you were going to hit my chest either way, Yako says. Wait, were you waiting the door the whole- Wait, were you waiting at the, the door the whole day? Naruto asks. She nodded in response. Why, you know you could watch TV or do something in the meanwhile I was gone, Naruto says. Well yes, but I didn't want to miss greeting you. What kind of wife would I be if I didn't greet you as soon as you came? Yako says, Naruto cups her cheeks and kisses her forehead and then hugs her making her blush as Naruto kissed her in the mouth using tongues and everything. Yako-chan, I want you to enjoy yourself. Watch TV train and I just have fun, Naruto says as she nodded. We now skip to the Nair of Academy. Naruto and Mito were sitting on a row by themselves as nobody liked them. Yuruka then comes in. Hey student, we have a new student coming in. Introduce yourself, she, he says as Yako walks in. All the boys fell off the chairs apart from Naruto as they were all mes mesmerized by her. Both Sasuke and Memo were drooling like dogs as well as Kiba as they spat out their drinks. Every girl was jealous apart from Mito who was quite humble. The sluts aka Hinata, Ino, Sakura were jealous as they saw their crushes spit their drinks at her beauty. Yako, Yako felt disgusted seeing Memo, Sasuke and Kiba and the rest of the boys staring at her. They were all ugly. Unlike, they were all ugly, unlike Naruto. The others were all scrawny and ugly. Naruto was cute, handsome and sexy, in her opinion. No homo. And then they relied on their family names for everything. Naruto was shocked that his girlfriend had come to his class. Yako walked towards Naruto, but since the class bitches, aka Sasuke Kiba and that loser member were there, in the way of her getting towards her Naruto, they thought that she was coming to them. They quickly pushed the person next to them out of the way, out of the chair, aka Hinata, Sakura and Ino were pushed, but was shocked, angry and humiliated when Yaku walked past them, giving them the most disgusted look that they have ever seen. They then saw her walk towards Naruto and then kiss Naruto and then hug Naruto. How do you know Yaku? The three asked. And why should he tell you anything? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you the straight up. Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze is Yaku Susuke's boyfriend and darling. So that's all you need to know. I don't care if that loser Sanin chose to train you Memma or if you need help reviving your clan, your evil clan Sasuke and if you're the self-proclaimed alpha Kiba Yaku says. To me you're, you're just the Toad Sanin's bitch, Itachi's bitch and a son of a bitch. That's what, I, that's what I think you are Yaku says. And also to anyone who hurts my darling Naruto, be prepared to die. Yaku says as she unleashes a killing intent making both both of the Kramas feel fair as well as the whole class. You spoiled bitches best never look at me again. You all are downright revolting she says as she hugs Naruto. We now skip to the end of Academy. During these years the teachers have gone missing. More civilians have turned up dead and people tried to blame Naruto but when they found out that during these attacks Naruto was harusen or sleeping or being watched, they gave up because someone always had an alibi so they couldn't say it was him. Naruto had been at the top of the year with Jaku and Mito as close seconds. Naruto was a true prodigy with lots and lots of different moves while Sasuke, Kiba and Memma were failures who were at the bottom of the class. Naruto and Yaku had left the academy to train by themselves after learning that some rich civilians had paid off the teachers to try and sabotage them. Naruto had gotten more control over Arceus's plates, being able to use high tail attacks. He had also managed to gain at least two or three tails in uh, uh, two or three tails of the nine tails power but an Arceus equivalent to it. He could also use high tail attacks of the base elements. So for example a fire type he could use moves like blast burn without having to recharge. He hasn't unlocked any new plates yet but he had mastered the five basic plates and I've gotten control over the psychic and normal plate, some control. He hasn't mastered that one yet though. Everyone had passed, but the highest were Naruto and Yaku, who got Rookie and Kunichi of the year with Mito coming close second to Yaku. Mizuki had angered Yaku by trying to poison Naruto by giving him a drink, but Yaku channeled a chakra washing away the poison. Naruto had graduated using the Shadow Kun, substitution and a henge. This made the whole village angry, 
especially since Shiyaku the prodigy was always with him. We now see Naruto coming out of Ichiraku Ramen and had dropped his wallet somewhere. Hey Yaku-chan, I dropped my wallet, can you find it? Naruto says. Sure darling, Yaku says as she unlocked her Bakugan and spots it and points towards it. There it is darling. Thanks Yaku-chan. Unknown to them, the Hugo bitch, also known as Hinata, was watching this and told her father, Hizashi Hugo. Hizashi was now trying to force her reason to make the Bakugan prodigy Yaku, who isn't using the name Hugo, move in with them. Hiruzen declines saying it's her choice. Hizashi then sends a branch camp member to get Yaku to live with them. They both see her and Naruto walking to the alley as they both follow them and they block both of the paths. Lady Yaku, you must come and live with us, Ko Hugo said. No, I'm happy with my darling Naruto, Yaku says. As Ko grabs and puts his hands on her breast and then starts molesting her. Listen here, you stupid little whore. Come with us or I will use your body for my own entertainment before I give you to the elders so they can enjoy you as well, Ko says, as he started to touch her more and more. Naruto got angry as all the Arceus plates appeared around him. A golden go glow appeared around him that was similar to that of a Super Saiyan. You know, when Goku went Super Saiyan, you know how they showed that energy, the, the golden aura around him. That's what it was like. Get him, Naruto. He touched your mate. Kill him. Arceus yelled, demanding that this bastard be put down for touching Naruto's mate. His Jinchoku Shuki is mate, sending as much power as he can that Naruto can handle to Naruto. Naruto uses extreme speed to get in front of Ko, ripping him off her, snapping his arms off. Ko felt fear. This power was a hundred times more powerful than the Ninetales and a hundred times more deadly. The de de demon, you don't want you don't you don't want to do this, Ko says. You dare touch my Yako chan, threaten to rape her, and then think that you'll live, Naruto yells, as Naruto uses his psychic to bring the other Hugos that were near towards Ko face my judgement, Naruto yells, as a golden fiery energy blast appears from Naruto's head and then he blasts it towards the Hugos, blowing them up. How dare those bastards touch my Yaku-chan? Naruto says, how dare, how dare that bastard touch me? Only my darling gets to touch me. They will pay, Yaku says to herself. Yaku then felt someone hug her as she saw it was Naruto. You must be really scared, Naruto says, as she decided to play, play off as she was scared to get more hugs for Naruto. As she uh, nodded, Hey, I'll take you to our house, Naruto says as he picks her up bri bridal style, making her blush, and then starts using his remaining Arceus power that he had left to fly towards the home. When they arrived, it was 9pm, but Naruto had taken them out sightseeing while flying because Yaku wanted to, to ease Yaku. As Naruto fell asleep, Yaku was pretending to. It was now 11pm. The stupid Hugas touched me. How dare they touch me? Only Naruto is allowed to touch me. No one can touch me. I killed them. I must kill them, Yaku says. Yaku then puts on her gear as she goes towards the Hugo district. She uses her chakra words to si simultaneously take out all the gods. She then runs in killing the gods on the way. She then uses her Bakugan to see where the sleeping Hugas were and then uses the wood style to make a wooden spear erupt through the sleeping Hugas killing them. She then rushes towards the Hugo council using wood style to bind them. What is the meaning of this? And Hugo Elder yelled. Who's there? Show it yourself. He's as she says as Yaku steps forward. So you're the bastard that sent, sent those molesters after me to touch me in front of my darling Nautican. Well, this is the last mistake you ever made. Yaku says. Guards, they yelled. Someone help another said. They're not coming. They're all dead. Your whole clan's dead. Only Hinata isn't dead. But she's going to have the worst of you lot. He's as she. Since you thought sent your minions to touch me up. I'm going to make sure that Hinata is used as breeding stock to breed the Hugas once again. She'll be forced to restore her clan, Yaku says, laughing. Listen, you don't want to do this. Just let us go and nobody will hear of this, Hizashi says. Sorry, but that's not an option. Your clan member touched me in front of my darling. Now you must all pay, Yaku says. Who cares about a demon? We're Hugas. We're elites, the elder yells. Before a chakra word pierces him. How could you, Hizashi says, but is pierced by another chakra road as well as the other Hugos were pierced. Now there's just one more person I need to deal with before I go home and snuggle up with my Nautica, she says. Yako appears in the forest of death using a speed where she sends Mizuki, who had knocked out Kiba and Uruka. Hell there Mizuki sensei, Yako says, making Mizuki jump. Ah Yako-chan, I wasn't expecting you, I was just taking out these traitors. He lied. Oh that's good, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to kill you, kill you for trying to poison my Nautica. As she says that the wood pillars erupted surrounding him, binding him towards the wood. Her eyes then turn to the Tensei gun, 
a materasu she she says as he screamed the whole night and died this will be the perfect distraction people think that the hugo clan massacre will happen by itachi because a materasu was used on mizuki so guys we start off on the team selection day you see yako resting her head on naruto's shoulder the village had been in a panic since the hugo clan was killed by itachi leaving only hinata who is going to be put in the cra soon the only people who didn't care was Naruto, Yako, and Mito. Mito never cared because Hizashi wanted to marry Neji to secure the Uzumaki bloodline into the Hugos. Hey demon, get Yako off your shoulder, she should be on mine, Memma says. Oh really? Let's ask Yako-chan then, Naruto says, as Memma tried to stop Naruto as he was in fear of what Yako would do to him for making Naruto sad. Naruto then shakes Yako awake. Naruto darling, has Ruka sensei come yet? Yako asked. No, but... No, but that bastard member says that you shouldn't be on my shoulders, sleeping. Do you want to deal with him? Naruto says faking his tears, as Yaku's face twisted into a sick and sweet smile as she got angry and a red aura formed around her. So, toad bitch, you've decided to ruin my mood and decided to annoy my Naruto by spreading lies, Yaku says in a cruel way, as she rushes in front of Memma and knees him in a dick. Memma lets out a scream as Yaku does thousands of shadow clones and they all rush and kick Memma in the dick. She keeps kicking me in my dick. Why does she keep kicking me in my dick? Memma whimpers out. If you ever say anything, I mean ever say anything to Naruto ever again, I will kill you, she says. However, let's leave you a little reminder so you don't forget to treat Naruto as a god, Yaku says as she. Naruto, are you okay? Don't listen to what that retard says. Of course I love you, Yaku says. As Naruto smiled and nodded before, he points the middle finger up at the other group. Hey bitch, how dare you hurt my men, mum, Hinata says. Oh looky here, it's the failure of the Hugo and the future breeding stock of the village. Finally decided to grow a pair of bulls? Did it take your family dying for you to learn something? Well let me tell you something. Your failure... Well let me tell you something, failure. Your career as a good shinobi is just like your family. Non-existence, undead. Yaku says as Hinata gets mad, but then she starts crying. My family died fighting a traitor. You're an orphan, leeching off that demon Naruto, Hinata yells. Don't bring my darling Naruto into this, and don't ever call him a demon. Last I saw, Toad Bitch turned into the Ninetales, while Naruto had a golden godly look. Don't compare my golden god to your weak demon, Yaku says. Hinata was about to charge at Nar Naruto's girlfriend, Yaku. However, Iruka came into class. Settle down now, class. I will now introduce you to your teams. Iruka says as both girls settle down. So, Team 7 is Naruto, Yaku, Admito under Kakashi Hatiki. Iruka says, Yes, the three says, while Memma, Sasuke, and Kiba yelled, No, as they were heartbroken. Team 8, Team 8, Sakura, Ino, Hinata under Kurunai. No, the girls yelled, as they wanted to do it with, with their crush. Team 10, Chaoji, Shikamaru, and Shino under Asuma. The three looked and nodded at each other. Team 11, Sasuke, Memma, Kiba under Ebisu. The three looked at each other and nodded, but were angry they never had a certain someone on their team, aka Yaku. Hey, Iruka sensei, why do we get Ebisu? And how can Naruto get stuck? Our god is Yaku, Memo yells. Well, first of all, Yaku would want to be with Naruto, and second of all, you need to learn your basics. You have horrible chakra control, your taijutsu sucks, and all three of you are the dead loss. Even Sakura, Sakura Harano has done better than you, Iruka says. And you're all from clans, you should be ashamed of yourself, Iruka yells. Yaku starts to laugh with not holding back his while Mito was full out laughing. Like full out laughing in Menma's face. And Memma, you shouldn't even speak about failures as you're the biggest. You've been trained by R Jiraiya Sensei and you've disgraced his training. Mito yells as Memma got angry. Shut up Mito, I'm the child of Percy and I will get power and then I will have a harem with Yaku as my main girl. He says, as if nobody good wants to be in your harem. Only the stupid little fan bitches wants to be in your harem to a bitch. You're ugly, weak, and a disgrace to your family. Just shut up. Everything that comes out of your mouth is bullshit and stupid. Yaku says as she nuzzled into Naruto's chest. I've got the best Uzumaki Namakazi, Yaku says. As Mito pouted. Don't worry, Mito, you're second best, she says. As Mito looked on, still raged and uh, cheeks still puffed up. Fine, you're both the same, Yaku says. But secretly, she held Naruto above Mito. The team then comes in with Kakashi being late and then taking them to the roof. So I'll start off with the introductions. My name is Kakashi Hatake. My likes and dislikes are none of your business. And my dream, well that's classified. And your next mini Krishna. 
as Mito looks at him angry and puffs up her cheeks. My name is Mito Uzumaki Namakaze. My likes are my big brother Naruto and his girlfriend Yaku. My dislikes is my little brother Menma and his best friends Kiba and, and Sasuke. Also the stupid villagers that hate my brother. My dream is to become Hokage and execute the toad son known as Dryo for lying about my big brother being a demon. Okay, now it's your turn, Mini Minato, uh, Kakashi says. My name is Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze. My likes are Yaku and Mito and a certain gold ringed horse. My dislikes are Memma, Sasuke and Kiba. My dream is for me and Yaku to get together and for us to be the strongest shinobi couple ever known. Even stronger than Minato and Krishna, my father and mother. Now lastly you, Kakashi says pointing at Yaku. My name is Yaku Suski and I only like Naruto and maybe his sister a little bit but Naruto more as Mito puffs her cheek. My dislikes are seeing him sad and any threats to my Naruto. My dream is to eliminate any threats to my Naruto and keep him happy no matter what. Yaku says as Kakashi felt fear. Oh god, it's a Yandri, Kakashi shouted in his head. Alright, good. Now meet me tomorrow at 5 a.m. for 8 hest. And don't eat, Kakashi says. So, guys, we're gonna eat, right? Mita says as Yaku and Naruto smiled and nodded. Both Naruto and Yaku went home as they both had a knock on their door and they saw it was Mita. As Naruto let her in and she had her bags as Naruto helped her carry her bags. Naruto, you promised I could move in when we became a shinobi, so can I? Mito asks. Of course, he says as Yaku agreed and they helped move her things into the Namakaze compound. Finally, I'm per free of that perverted Sanin. He stares at me while I was taking a shower. I was afraid he might do something, she says. If he ever touches you, tell me, Naruto says as a golden aura appeared around him and seven plates floated up around him as Yaku hugged him. Now, 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 calm down, darling. She said she was afraid, not that it happened. But yes, Mito, if he does try something, I will kill that pervert myself, she says. She wouldn't let anybody touch someone close to Naruto and someone she saw as a little sister. Naruto found it ironic that Yaku was calming him down for once. The next day, Naruto, Yaku and Mito arrived at the same time, early at 5 a.m. As an hour passed and Kakashi hasn't appeared. Meanwhile, Yaku was booming in anger. How oh, dare that perverted sensei waste my Naruto kun and mine's time together, Yaku says. I will kill him. He will. I will kill him. He's taking my time with my beloved Naruto kun. I must kill him. He will die. How oh, dare he waste not my time but my darling's time. He must pay for the sin. He must pay with blood, Yaku says to herself. After three hours, Kakashi appeared as he saw Mito and Naruto were talking while Yaku was muttering about killing someone under her breath as she was looking at him with the same eyes. He got chills. Now he explained the rules and then he said, Come with me with the intent to kill, Kakashi said. As soon as he said that, several kunais pierced him as he turned to smoke and Yaku saw that it was a piece of wood. You're not getting away from me that easily, Sensei. Come and pay for your sins for wasting our time and wasting my time with my beloved Naruto. Yaku says, In Naruto and Mito, while Yaku was hunting Kakashi and killing every clone that she came across, Naruto and Mito were talking. So Naruto can you know there's a hidden meaning, Mito says. Of course, Mito chan. I figured that it was teamwork since there's no three man teams, it's always a four man team with one sensei and three students. Not one sensei and two students. Just tell Yaku chan then, Naruto says, as they had several explosions and they saw that the whole forest was literally in the craters. As both of them looked in fear. Actually, not Naruto, because Naruto knew that Yaku loved, so he wouldn't get hurt, but Mito still looked in fear. Back with Yaku. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Sensei, you must pay for wasting my darling Naruto's time. The more longer you take, the more you suffer, Yaku says as she threw Kunai's at the clone. Yaku chan, Yaku had heard Naruto had called her to his side as she quickly went to Naruto. Her Naruto needed her, and that stupid time wasting stealing Sensei. Can wait for his punishment. Naruto could, are you right? She says as she was right in front of him, pampering him. Make sure that he never had a wound on him. Because if he did, Kakashi was gonna die today. Luckily for Kakashi, he never had a single wound on him. Yakushan, I'm okay, but the meaning of this test is teamwork. So let's work together like we practice and show Sensei that we are not someone that he mess he should mess with and that we are someone he should take seriously. And we are the best Naruto says as Yaku smiled at Naruto. And Naruto always bang out the best in people and was the only person to ever make a smile. Okay, so what's the plan? Yaku says. As Naruto and Mito explained the plan to Yaku and Yaku laughed. 
Lena nodded and started a plan. Mito was walking as she held out a book and put a flaming hand closer to it. Hey Kakashi, hey Kakashi Kashi, hey Kakashi Kashi. I stole the unreleased Icha Icha Paradise book from Dryer and I will burn it and that will mean that the launch will be delayed, Mito says, as Kakashi's eyes piped out, popped out as he ran to save the book before he was hit by a blast from Naruto who had charged their hyper beam attack and sent it towards Kakashi sending him flying away. As Naruto used the psychic to pull him closer, however Kakashi used his Sharingan ability to get out of the thing, the one that Uto uses, and he went behind Naruto and tried to kick him, but Yako threw a fireball jutsu at him, sending him flying back as Naruto used extreme speed and used fire punch, followed up by a thunder punch paralyzing Kakashi as the sky had thunder clouds forming. Now then, Sensei, feel the wrath of the electric types. Thunder, Naruto yelled as Naruto used the Pokemon Move Thunder as the clouds released thunder on Kakashi, knocking him out cold. Well, it looks like we won, Yaku says, hugging Naruto, as both hugged each other and Naruto hugged the back as Mita joined in the hug. Kakashi woke up passing the team. The team went home as Naruto and Mita went to the backyard to train. As Yaku heard a knock on the door and it opened up to see Sume. Inuzuka, aka the dog bitch's mom. Hello there, Yaku. My son has a crush on you, and as an alpha, he will get you no matter what. What do you want? Money, power? I can give it to you. Just marry him, Sume says. I don't need anything from you, and I won't marry your ugly, worthless loser of a son. That son of a bitch, Yaku says. How dare you? Fine, I want you to do this nicely, but since you called me a bitch, I will take this personally. I take back the offer for money and power, and you will marry him, or else. Your precious Naruto kun will die. I've got enough support from the villagers to activate Act 5 if a villager doesn't feel safe around the villager and the person is a major asset to the village, the leaf may kill him with enough votes. I'll leave you to think about it. I'll be back in a week for your answers, Sume says. You'll suffer, bitch. I'll make sure of that, Yaku says. Please, you're nothing. You're just an orphan while well, I'm the head of the clan. You can't do shit to me, Sume says. But really, we'll see if we're talking the same talk tonight. Yaku says to herself, Get out of my house now, Yaku shouts, as Sumi leaves, vowing that she'll make Yaku's life a miserable hell when she joins the Inuzuka. Yaku then storms off into the house as she quickly lays her eyes on Naruto. She quickly feels happy again as she sees Naruto and Mito working on Uzumaki and Namakaze techniques. As Yaku goes and hugs Naruto after he finished the spa, oh, Don't worry, Naruto, can, my darling. I won't let those dogs get in between us. Looks like it's time to put those dogs down for good, Yaku says to herself, as Naruto is hung the back not knowing what Yaku is thinking. The day went on as normal, with the free training, eating, sleeping and bathing together. Well, only Yaku and Naruto bathed together while Mito did her own bath. But nothing sexual happened because they're still 12, so yeah. And then night came. We see Naruto and Mito sleeping. Mito was in her room while Naruto and Yaku were sleeping. Well, Naruto was sleeping as Yaku was putting on her shinobi gear. Yaku then flew to the Inuzuka compound as she used the clouds to cover herself while she used her Tensei gun to see where the guards were at. She then did some hand signs using the bone release to kill all the guards after seeing where they were. As she then walked into the building, she was spotted by a big dog. This was Sume's dog and Kiba's dad. Before the dog could bark, she sh shot a chakra rod, killing it, as she started to laugh. Looks like I killed Kiba's dad, now it's dead. Oh wait, Kiba is out with Menma so I can't kill him. Training with that stupid toad son. Well, I can't wait for him to find out that his clan's dead. How dare that bastard try to take me for my Naruto kun. I only belong with my Naruto, my darling Naruto. And this is a fate to all who try to stop us, who oppose us, she says. As she then used her Tansu gun to see where everyone was. As she then used her ice spikes, shattering the hearts of all the Inuzukas that were sleeping and that were in her way. Yaku then made it to the last of the survivors, the last two survivors. As she used wood style wood restraints to bind them, and then she used water style to wake them up. The person who she woke up was Sumi and her daughter, Hana. Sumi woke up as she was on her knees. Then the first thing she saw was dead Inuzuka members all around her. She then looks up to see a smiling Yaku. What are you doing? Did you do this? Sumi says. Did you really think I'll take the threat? Nartikin's life and just let you win and marry that stupid bastard? Never. I only marry Nartikin and now your clan's 
and now your clan's dead and soon you will be too but first you will watch your da your daughter become someone's bitch the one person you hate the most the person who is racist to Inuzuka Shiaku says as an ugly fat old man came and Sume noticed this man it was a racist who she knew who she saw as the ultimate anti Inuzuka who wanted Inuzukas as his own pets not as humans but as pets as slaves Ryu what are you doing here Sume asks well you see this girl offered me a chance to show your bitch of a daughter her place as my pet and I couldn't help but accept Ryu says as he licked his lips and smiled as he stripped naked time skip a few hours Hana was currently begging her master for well I'm not gonna get into that Sume was screaming in anger and was regretting her actions because of her threatening Yako she had to watch her daughter be with a racist you see Sume you shouldn't have threatened my Naruto kun my darling Naruto kun's life but no you had to decide to play with fire and now you will die Yako says as she shot both the man and Hana Inuzuka dead now die knowing this this was all your fault Sumi you should have just said no to your spoiled son of a bitch you tried to give me to that said bitch I won't take threats to Nautica lightly and I will I will let you in on a little secret I killed the council members because they were a threat to Nautica I also massacred the Hugo clans because they were a threat to Nautica and they were also a threat to me and our relationship with Nautica and my relationship with Nautica finally I massacred your clan because of you you're the reason that happened if you had just stopped and just told your son no and just told him to find a different girl this would never happen but for threatening my Naruto you belong in hell Yaku says as soon as eyes turned into a fearful look as she was pierced by a chakra rod as then Yaku placed explosives throughout the house and then she dropped some stone headbands that she had made and then she ran out activated the explosive being safe and far away from the explosion radius before going flying home a lot of villagers died that night as she went home and snuggled up with her darling Naruto -kun. so let's get started we see Naruto w waking up it has been a month since the Inuzuka clan massacre and a month of them being deranked since they passed their bell test Leaf's power has been reduced greatly they are now third great nation instead of first with cloud and rock above them due to the loss of the full Fukage Minato Namakaze and his wife Krishna Uzumaki the loss of the Uchiyas and the loss of the Hyuga clan and also the loss of the Inuzukas Leaf has taken a massive financial loss with the death of the civilian council Naruto was showering when the door opened and in came Yako he saw Naruto and hopped into the bath darling let your beloved Yako wash you she says as she put soap on her breasts and used them to clean Naruto. After taking a bath, the two of them ate and then they saw Mito come out of her room yawning. Oni chan, it's 12 pm. Kakashi will be there in five minutes. We need to get there. Yako, please tell me that you packed some lunch for me as well, Mito says. Yes, I did, Mito, for all three of us, Yako says, sighing. Ever since Mito moved in, not that she minds, she's been having less time with her Naruto. Hey, thanks, Mito says hugging her as Yako is thinking of Naruto and her making out. They then arrive to the Hokage office where they see Ebisu's team walking out angrily after being denied a C rank. Ha ha ha, looks like Toad bitch, Itachi's bitch and the son of a bitch got put in their place, Yako said as Mita started laughing and Naruto smirked. The three looked down broken that their crush hated among them. They then saw Naruto smirk at them and got angry. It was all his fault. He took their crush. Move on, don't look at my Naruto kun. I don't want him catching uselessness. Perhaps I should call Itachi to finish the job and take out the Inuzuka and Uchiha trash. Maybe if I paid him, he might take the Toad Bitch trash out as well, Yaku says. The three looked down even more broken when they realized their crush hated them so much that she refused to call them by their names. They remember the third Hokage asking why Yaku called them that and Yaku responded with, I will not dirty in my mouth that I will use to kiss Naruto by saying those peasants' names and words that I consider sinful, Yaku says. As Hiruzen sighed, Yaku and Naruto with Mito and Kakashi walked into the office but not with Yaku making the earth pop up and trip the three idiots over. As she 
in order to earn me to start to laugh while well, Kakashi sighed but was mentally laughing. She really hates them. Well, it's not a surprise. Those three did bully a little Naruto, Kakashi thought, as he remembered all the times that the little boy's own brother tried to make him a target just for his own amusement. That brought anger to him because Renato and Krishna would never allow something like that. Team 7 had just been assigned the Tazna mission and was now at the gate waiting for Tazna and Kakashi. How dare that stupid sensei and that stupid drunk oaf waste my Naruto darling's time and my time. We could be cuddling, snuggling or something like that Yaku thought to herself. As she had enough and used the Baku gun, she then created two clones. Two explosions were heard and after a few minutes Yaku clones were dragging both Kakashi and Tazna who were bloodied up. Next time don't waste my Naruto darling's time or you will know despair Yaku says as a red aura came around them and they started feeling fair. As Mito was laughing seeing Kakashi crying over the ripped up Ich Ichi Paradise book. Now what are you waiting for? For a miracle that will bring back the Sage 6 Puffs? Move it Yaku says as she pushed Kakashi and Tazuna as she went to Naruto and petted him. Don't worry Naruto-kun you can take your time. The rest need to hurry up Yaku says as Mito puffed her cheeks and pouted at her which Yaku ignored. They then saw some puddles and something leaped out of it which were two shinobis that were aiming to cut Kakashi but suddenly in the air they had a purple glow around them as Naruto used his psychic plate to hold them in the air while he disarmed them of all their weapons. Yaku then used earth style to create some restraints around the enemy shinobi and Mito sealed away the chakra and restricted their movements. Tazna was left shocked seeing such teamwork and such power. Now then, tell me why you're here Kakashi says. The demon brothers broke instantly as Naruto is psychic to break their minds and they then proceeded to tell everything. After that they went to Tazna and then asked him to explain the story, why they lied to him. Tazna then tells his story, making most of Team 7 pity him and they were about to agree to help him and wave but was cut off by a slap to the face. You put my Naruto darling's life in danger and just for a country, you know Naruto could have died there and you're trying to guilt us in with your stories of your grandson of your village. We will do this mission because Naruto wants to do this mission. But let me tell you something, if something happens to my Naruto darling, you and your country will suffer Yaku says with an insane look as ya Yaku was hugged by Naruto who started to comfort her and tried to calm her down. Forgive him, plus I can be a hero like in the books, Naruto says childishly as Yaku started to laugh as she found it cute. Don't worry Naruto, -kun. I will protect you Yaku says. As you continue on, Kakashi hears something coming towards them. Dark he yells as everyone got on the ground apart from Naruto as Yaku got worried but then she calmed down seeing a purple glow wrap around the sword that was coming up towards them and was about to slice Naruto's head off. Wow kid you stopped that sword Zabuza says but then he felt fear as he looked to see Yaku who had a red aura around her as she rushed towards him and with her old killing Ashburn killed him. You killed my master a hunter nin says as he rushed towards Yaku but Naruto used extreme speed and thunder punch to hit the ninja. He then used thunder wave paralyzing the ninja. Who are you Naruto asked. Kill me I'm worthless without my master Zabuza. The ninja says. Tell us everything and we'll give you what you desire the most death. Yaku says walking from behind Naruto. The ninja glared as he explained his name was Haku and everything about Gato and the land of water aka the mist village and as promised Yaku sliced off his head. Kakashi was shocked to see his Genin dispose of an A and B rank ninja like nothing. But this wasn't any A and B rank ninja, this is the Demon of the Mist and his partner, the Ice Sword, who when working together were easily able to take on low S ranks. They continued on to Tazna's house where they were met by Tsunami. Naruto and Yaku went exploring around the wave village. Naruto sees the village and sees like how bad of a condition it is in. Yaku look it's so sad Naruto says. Yes Naruto darling it's really sad Yaku says not really caring about the village just caring about her Naruto and wanting to look good in front of him. Yaku I've got an idea let's get some food and cook it for these poor wave citizens Naruto says as it reminded him of his life before Mito took him to the Namakaze compound which he owned. They then started to gather the food as Yaku was amazed at Naruto's compassion. 
she didn't really think of the village she just thought of how Naruto is kind and everything because the only thing in her head is Naruto Naruto darling so considerate if any of them complain I will kill them off for taking advantage of his generosity Yako thought to herself after giving food a few bandits came how dare you give food to our servants oh that girl of yours looks nice we'll take her as payment for you being nice to the villagers the bandit leader says looking at Yako as Naruto got angry but Yako put her hand on Naruto as she was enveloped in a red aura how dare these bastards look at me in front of my darling Naruto I will kill him Yako thought as a red aura appeared around her forcing all of them to back up she then leaped with a lot of speed and cut down all of the bandits as the way sits inside the chair after that they went to Tosna's home in the night Naruto couldn't sleep knowing that when they leave the bandits would kill all of these way citizens because of what he did and what Yaku did so he went to Yaku and shook her awake Yaku instantly sensing Naruto's aura somehow knew it was him Naruto darling what is it are you hurt did someone do something to you did someone hurt you did someone say something bad I'll kill them for hurting my beloved Yaku no Yaku-chan I can't sleep thinking about what this gutter bastard might do once the bridge is done since it's nearly done and we will have to leave so I was thinking that we're going on an unofficial mission to kill Gato. we know where his base is thanks to Haku Naruto says if that's what you want darling then we shall kill Gato. my darling Naruto Yaku says we now see Gato's base as all that was heard was screams and blood splatter and an insane Yandere laugh as Naruto used his extreme speed and elemental moves to kill the bandits while Yaku used the sword to torture them to death they then walked into the main office to see a terrified Gato. Take what you want, just leave me alone, Gato says. Yako then walked up to him and told him silently to tell her where the code to the safe was. He did. Then she went back to Naruto's side. Gato, for your crimes against the wave, you shall die, Naruto yelled as he used the move cut to cut off Gato's head. Both Naruto and Yako returned, but Yako secretly stayed while she told Naruto to patrol the area to eliminate any remaining bandits and while Naruto was doing that she emptied most of Gato's wealth into the scroll leaving only 5% for the way village which was more than the whole leaf village combined a backup plan just in case something happens where my Naruto were to lose his parents money Yaku thought Kakashi then told them off for going on a dangerous mission when they got back while Mito pouted that they never took her along with them after buying Mito some ramen and a new sword she was happy again we now see Naruto patting Yaku and Mito's head Yaku was purring while Mito was puffing her cheeks and saying that she's not a kid after a few days the bridge was done and their mission was officially over Naruto, Yaku, Mito and Kakashi made it back Kakashi decided to take a few more C ranks to build up experience seeing as his team was really powerful this was because his team were easily A rank level with, ex with experience they could have been S rank since Naruto had many strange jutsus Yaku was dangerously skilled and Mito was really good at sealing arts we now time skip a month it was now the training exams Kakashi had recommended the team since his team was the strongest rookies ever created even more stronger than Minato Namakaze's team and Itachi Uchiha's team his team can even take out second year's team and he also made a bet with Guy that his team would win we now see Naruto, Yako and Mito walking to the tuning waiting areas as they go to the side not wanting to be near the rest of the rookies they ignore the rookies calling them over which pissed off the three idiots when they saw Yako ignored and stuck her middle finger at them they passed the first exam with Naruto using his whirlwind to make everyone's paper full and then taking a tuning's completed paper while Mito used the chains to take another tuning's completed paper Yako used a tensei gun to copy and see all around the answers after that they heard a bang and Anku came in she then explained the rules and everything and now they were in the forest of death Yako used a back gun to spot some enemies which were nearby and Mito rigged the area with seals as they placed the scroll in the middle as a trap then Carbiter's dumb team came and they went to all three of them idiotically went to get the scroll but the seal activated making them freeze Naruto came down levitating so he wasn't affected by any of the seals and used thunder wave in case they managed to break out of the seals effectively paralyzing them before he took their scrolls he also destroyed any weapons 
since they were enemies and they should be treated as such. Now to Yaka and Mito flew away with Yaka using her Ususki ability fly while Mito hopped onto Nata's back and Nata used her Pokemon move fly. Faster Onichan, Yaka chan Onichan will beat you in a race, Mito yelled. My darling Nata, I'll make you acknowledge that I'm better flyer than you, Yaka says. Oh yeah, I'm the best, Nata says, as the two of them raced. But in the end it was a tie. I will win the race next time, Yaka chan Nata says. Peace, my darling Nato. I will win, Yaku says, as she felt happy, her first time racing and having fun, and not flying being some sort of training by Kaguya. After that, they opened the scroll to be greeted by Kakashi. You passed. Good, I saw your teamwork, and it was legendary. And how the hell can you fly, Kakashi says. Secret both of them says. No fair on you, Chan, near Chan. I want to fly too, Mito says, puffing her cheeks and pouting as Kakashi head pat her. You and I both, Mito. You and I both, Kakashi says. We then see Kakashi taking them to their team room where Yaka proceeds to wash her darling Naruto saying it's her wife's duty to clean her husband. Five days have passed. It was now the preliminaries. Yaka was taking care of her darling Naruto. Yaka was taking care of her darling Naruto as we see Yaka on one side of the rink and team Kuranai on the other side. The match between Yaka Susuki, these Hinata Huga, Sakura Horano, and Ino Yamaka begin, said the proctor. You bitch, you think you can hurt our men and then try to take them just by walking in? We will kill you, Sakura says. I only care about Nautikun. The rest of the boys are f- can die for all I care. Yaka says, appearing behind Sakura, slashing her arms off and then jabbing her straight in the chest with her sword, missing her heart just by an inch and then kicking her out of bounds. She then dodged Ino's mind jutsu and then stabbed her in the chest, grazing her heart before kicking away. Inata then comes in with the 64 palms, only for Yaku to dodge them and grab her swords and then slash her face, putting a line all over her face as she saw Hinata jump back and throw kunais at Yaku. Yaku cut all the kunais. Yaku having enough, kicked Hinata between the legs as she screamed out in pain. She then slashed the hole in her stomach before using air slash sending a bitch at Sakura Horano. Since Hinata had the kunai on her hand, the kunai scratched against Sakura's face. But Hinata's face had been scraped against Ino's kunai and Sakura feeling a pain accidentally scratched up Ino's face. All three of them were scratched up and marked by kunai's having scar and making them look a bit better than the ugly selves. We now go to Mita v Skiba. Match between Mito Uzumaki, Namakaze, and Kiba Unuzuka start. Proctor says as Mito used the chakra chains to wrap Akamaru around, throw him, him out of bounds where conveniently placed kunais were there. Before she then threw a ceiling tag at Kiba, freezing him in place as she grabbed the sword. You think you could try to take my only chance girlfriend and try to add me to your harem, you sick freak? Mito says, me and Sasuke need to restore our clans and we will share you. The village will agree with us, Kiba says, as Mita pulls out her sword. She then thought back to what Yaka said to her yesterday. It was a day ago when Yaka called her while Naruto was sleeping. She faced these three idiots, cut their pride so that my darling Naruto can't be hurt by them trying to use us to restore their clans, as Mita nodded. Yeah, I hope I get that dog boss. I'll show him what it means to say that I will be his ho along with you. He will be the one that suffers because he will have no dick. Plus, all the damages in the tuning exams are considered accidents, Mito says. Flashback end as Mito walked over to Kiba. Well, you can't restore your clan if you don't have the tools to restore it, Mito says, as she slashes off his dick and balls and sends thousands of sword jabs to where it was located. As she walked away laughing and the mills were holding onto their prides, Kiba was howling in pain. As Nata fell to the ground laughing. Look, he acts like a dog in pain. Nata yells laughing as a stretcher took in. Can Nata Uzumaki Namakazi and Lee come down? Proctor says. That's all guys, peace. But that's all guys, peace. Nata and Lee were facing off against each other as Nata looked to the stands to see Yako Amito in a cheerleading episode, in a cheerleading outfit that said, Win Nata, win. Go Nata, darling. Defeat. The ugly caterpillar-eyed freak, Yaku said, making every male 
get jealous that a beauty such as Yaku was supporting him. You damn demon. I don't know how you got Yaku-chan to help you, but she will care for me after this, Lee says. You can't beat me, you guy ripoff. Even if you did win, you would just sign your death warrant. You really think she'll let you live after what you done to me, Nata says, as he realized how overprotective Yaku is of him. We shall see, demon. I shall show you the power of youth, Lee says, as he rushes at Naruto at incredible speeds for Naruto to, to use protect, which made him tank the move, not even moving back a single step as, as protect took all the damage. Naruto then used Mutt Punch, sending Lee flying away. As Naruto instantly used Teleport to get behind Lee instantly before he can leave the bounds and then kicked him back into bounds. Is that all your youthful power? If that is the case, then youthful power is nothing compared to that of Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze. Naruto taunted. Why you finding? I never thought a demon would force me to use this. But if I have to use it, then so be it. So I could get her away from you. She deserves better, Lee says as he drops his weights and then he was instantly in front of Naruto punching him. How dare you touch my Naruto darling, you ugly caterpillar I freak, you will pay. Naruto is the best, Yaku says as Red Aura surrounded and Ambu's and Jonin were trying to hold her down. One accidentally touched her breast and had his hand sliced off. I'll kill you all, mark my words. Anyone that prevents me from delivering my divine justice against the ugly bastard who touched my Naruto with his unworthy hands will die, Yako says, making the Ambus feel fear, but they continued to hold on to her as the Hokage has ordered it. Don't worry, Yako-chan, I'm okay, Naruto says, as the dust cleared and he wasn't even damaged a single bit. My Naruto darling is fine, Yako says happily as the Red Aura disappeared and the Ambus let go, but they were still in fear of her. Now, Lee, by touching me, you hurt my Yako, and for that, I will not show you any mercy, Naruto says, as he used extreme speed to get in front of Lee, shocking him, and then used close combat to hurt him. He then used the low sweep to get him onto the ground, leaving him bloody on the ground. Look at you now, Lee. I thought your weights would have at least helped you. You said you'll beat me. You said you'll prove that you're stronger than me, but you're just like all my other enemies. Just like Toad, bitch. Just like Uchiha, bitch. And just like the dickless son of a bitch. You want to know what you force shared? You made the same mistake by facing me. And you made the same mistake of facing me since you four only have the same fate which is losing to me, Naruto says. Don't underestimate me, demon. I'm Rock Lee, pupil of Guy. Now you shall face my power. I'm sorry, Sensei, but I must go all out. Six gate open, he says as he rushes in front of Naruto and tries to punch him, but not use the protective tank kit. Night Guy, the yelled as he used Guy Sensei's most powerful technique. A dragon made of chakra surrounded Lee and Lee rushed towards Naruto. Assault Meteor, Naruto yelled as he flew up high into the sky and descended down with yellow energy surrounding him, aiming for Lee, making him look like a meteor about to hit the earth. As the two collided, they both fought for dominance. Naruto easily overpowered, firstly because he had the higher ground and secondly because he was stronger than Lee. As Lee smashed into the earth, as a shockwave came, Yako and Mito and Kakashi flew up because Yako helped them and everybody else was sent flying into forests, colliding with buildings or trees or something like that. After that, Naruto was declared the winner and everyone who was not part of Naruto's team, even Hiruza needed to be healed. Hiruza wasn't that much damaged, but the Genin, they would at least be in there for two weeks. Well, we did it. Yaku says, as she embraced Naruto. My darling has scratches from that bastard, and the Ambu, they touch me, they must be eliminated. They are threats, Yaku thought. They are threats to my Naruto kun, Yaku thought. Yaku-chan, 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 Naruto says, as he waved his fingers in front of her face. Snap your f- her thoughts. Oh, what is it, Naruto kun, she says. Let's go celebrate. We're on the next rounds, Naruto says, as she agreed. Yes, my darling Naruto kun, we shall, Yaku says, as she was hugging Naruto's arm as they walked away making everyone who was awake jealous. Naruto, Yako and a puffing Mito who was puffing her cheeks because Naruto wasn't petting her but Yako, even though she acted like a sundere, she did like Naruto petting her head, had just finished eating ramen and walking back to the house. Oh Mito and Yako, 
I'm, I want to tell you that I'm going to be going out to train out of the village tomorrow. Are you not coming? Tato says. That's a great idea. Getting away from the villages that hurt my darling Nartukun. Yes, Nartukun, that's a good idea. I agree, Naruto says. Me too, Onichan. Before that perverted bastard can annoy me with request to train me with that bastard bar barrel of ours, she says. So, let's go and head home and pack our bags, Naruto says, as the others nodded and they rushed home. It was now night time. Naruto and Mita were asleep. As Yaku was putting on her gear and she rushed to the hospital where she saw an Ambu guard outside. She recognised the Ambus that were outside. It was the one that laid the finger on her breasts. In fact, the whole squad that was touching her during that match was there protecting the people inside of the hospital and only Naruto was allowed to touch her so she would get her revenge as she smirked. Thinking of thousands of ways of torturing and killing the Ambus that touched her. So that dumb hearts so that dumbass Hokage did something right for once and put all my targets in one area. Good, that means he won't suspect me of killing them once my plan is done, she thought. Yaku sliced the two Ambus and waited for the other two to notice. When they did and came to check, she sliced their heads off. Then came the camp captain, the one who had touched her breast. He quickly looked around before he was suddenly caught in earth restraints made out of earth jutsus. As Yaku then did a few hand signs before coming out. This was a soundproof seal. Oh hello again, Yaku says. Yo, 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 the demon horse. What, 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 what are you doing here? He says as he could I pierced his gut. I, I would consider what I was, I was saying if I were you. You dare call my golden god Nartukun a demon. How dare you? First you have the audacity of having you and your teammates touch me. Then you specifically touch my breasts which are only for Nartukun. And finally, you call my Nartukun a demon. Do you have no intelligence? Oh wait, you were born in Leaf. You lose your intelligence to fit in, Yaku mocks. How dare you mock the Leaf. We are the best. We are the most intelligent. We are the most intelligent of all of the villages. And this is your village. How dare you mock it, he says. My village? Don't make me laugh. I only stay here because Nartukun stays here. If he decides to leave, then I would leave, she says. You wouldn't. You dare leave just for that demon? Then you are a threat. You must die. He yelled out in pain as he was stabbed over and over. How dare you talk about my Nartukun like that. I just gave your order to not call him a demon and you did. Now you shall perish. She yelled and laughed out one last time as she stabbed him before he died. About time. Now it's time to get to work, she says. As she enters the hospital and goes into the training exam medical room where she sees Itachi's bitch, Toad bitch and then proceeds to cut off the dicks. She then goes to the ICU room where she sees the bastard Rock Lee who laid a scratch no a few scratches on her Naruto sleeping comfortably she kicked him on the stomach making him wake up what, what are you doing have you finally decided to become my youthful princess he says how dare you hurt my Naruto -kun. how dare you scratch him how dare you call him a demon when he's a god you will die you will pay she says as she switched blood packs with a special poison she collected. Lee then started to cough out and then turn his body as his body was gasping for oxygen. His muscle fibers started to rip. His brain tried to go and stop what was going on by convincing the body to create some white blood cells but in return his brain just went to overdrive making him watch as his sensei as he was killed over and over again and every time he died, every time his teammates died, every time anybody died in his visions he felt the pain that they were experiencing. He felt, he felt being burnt. He felt being sliced. He felt being frozen as he died over and over in different ways. This is a special clan poison used in the warring clan era by a clan called the Rio clan. Used to punish whoever turned traitor against the clan. It also had the weaker version that they used to train shinobis in. It won't let you die till you give up on life. Oh, and look, there's a cure on my hand. Yaku says as she holds it over Lee. Lee tries to reach out for it, but notice, but Yaku smashes it and then uses a fire jutsu burning the liquid, making it uh, evaporate. As then she dropped a few hairs from some rock shinobi that she connected from the tuning exams. She then left the area and went home as she cuddled up with her Naruto, and Naruto unconsciously cuddled into her as she smiled. He knows who I am even when he's sleeping. She thought as she stroked his whiskered cheek, making him purr. She couldn't take it 
anyone had the cuteness overload. The next morning, Mito somehow woke up before everyone, which was one in a million of a chance, as she saw Naruto and Yako cuddling. She then had a devious smile. As she saw Naruto as she saw Naruto and Yako cuddling, she yelled out loud, waking them up. Why did you do that, Nea Chan? Naruto asked. Yes, why would you do that to us, Mito? Yako asked. She wouldn't kill her because she was Naruto's little sister. And she also learned to care about Mito a bit as a little sister. But if Mito was ever to hurt Naruto, she would kill her without a second thought. Oni-chan, Nea-chan, we need to get ready and leave early to dad's training grounds, Mito says as the two just sighed. And Mito took a bath while Naruto and Yaku waited. After Mito came out, Naruto and Yaku shared a bath together. We now see Naruto and Yaku with Mito at the Fofokage's training ground, training grounds right outside of the village, about a day away. Time skip a month. Over the month, Naruto had unlocked and mastered the ghost type, ice type plates, making him be able to use fire, water, earth, flying, lightning, or electric, uh, psychic, and ghost type moves whenever he wanted to. He also had chakra, natural chakra, his own chakra that was equivalent to the nine toes itself. Mita had mastered basic nature, aka fire, water, lightning, earth and wind, while training under Yaku and Naruto. She also mastered Uzumaki seasons along with Naruto. She also unlocked her chakra chains. Naruto then remembered something as they were walking back to the village. Naruto and Yaku were sparring, both were sweating, when suddenly they felt a present. This was familiar to Yaku. Black Zetsu, what are you doing here? If you're here to hurt my darling Naruto, then you best be off, because he doesn't possess the nine tails. And if you're after Mito, I'll defend her because hurting girl would hurt my Nautican and I will never hurt my Nautican. So you better tell the Akatsuki to lay off her and go off the Menma. If you don't want mother's plan to be burned before your eyes, Yaku says. I was here to ask you and Naruto and Mito to join the Akatsuki. Our plan was to take the evil half of the nine tails. I managed to convince them that we only need the evil half and not the good half to enact the moon plan, Zetsu says. Nautican, shall we join? Yako asks, as she missed her mother. As Nato asked what was the true purpose of Akatsuki and Yako explained it. Very well, we shall join, only for Yako-chan, Nato and Mito said. Flashback end. We now see Ma Menma and Sasuke facing each other. Sasuke was using a Sharingan as Menma was using the one tails mode. The two clashed, but in the end it was a draw as both suffered from chakra exhaustion and fainted. Can Yako Susuki and Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze come down? The proctor asked as both Yako and Naruto came down. Hey Naruto, -kun, let's have some fun, Yako said. What kind of fun? Naruto asked. Well, a teasing kind, she says, as Naruto agrees. Start, the proctor says, as Yako suddenly appears behind Naruto holding him. Look, the prodigy's gonna defeat the demon, the villager said, but was shocked when they saw Yako biting Naruto's ear. And then Yako act like she lost balance as Naruto catches her. Like in a dance when the boy catches the girl. Naruto then slaps her ass as Yaku strokes Naruto's dick. Naruto then gets lunged up by Yaku, making the villagers think that she was going to beat him finally. But Yaku cuddles Naruto's head into her chest, making everybody jealous. Naruto then drops to his knees as he pulls out a ring and proposes it to Yaku. Yaku accepts Naruto's engagement offer as she now becomes Mrs. Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze, making a leaf get shot. As the three idiots got jealous, Naruto then puts a ring on her finger as Yaku blushed as she pinned down Naruto and started treating Naruto as Abedo did to Ainz's pillow, the Ainz pillow. The country's lords, aka the Fire Lord, Water Lord and that and the nobles stood up and started to clap making the leaf unable to go against the engagement now. Doctor, let Naruto can go to the next round, I give up she says. Yaku gives up as she kisses Naruto in front of everyone. I might give up the ground, but I'll never give up this ring, Yaku says to Naruto, as she walked away, making the nobles clap even louder. The rookie males were jealous, while the females were relieved but disgusted at Yaku. It was now the finals, Naruto v Gara, because both Naruto and Gara had destroyed the rest of the competition. So you got engaged, Mr. Naruto. Too bad mother wants your blood, and I will deliver, he says, as everyone, including Gara, felt fear when they saw a red aura being emitted from the stands. How dare you threaten my Naruto, darling. You will die, Yaku says as she appeared in front of Gara, only to be stopped by Naruto who kissed her and then pet her hair. It's okay, Yaku-chan. 
I won't lose to that weak Jinchuriki, Naruto says as Yaku purred into his hands. Fine naruto -kun, but if he even grazes you, he's dead, Yaku says with red aura, as Gara and Shikaku, as well as everyone, shook from fear. Mother, what's this? I'm scared, Gara said. Oh, it's, it's, it's nothing, kill him. We are the strongest, Jinchuriki, Shikaku says, fearfully, but his need to prove himself as an alpha overpowered his logic. Yaku then kissed Naruto for a few minutes as she was dominated by Naruto for the whole minutes. She then broke the kiss gasping for air as the males were trying not to look at this as they had a tight feeling in their pants because this goddess was being dominated. Good luck, Naruto, my darling. I know you can win, Yaku says as Naruto hugged her before he let her go. She then went to the Kage stands. Oh Kage, I'll be staying here to watch my darling, Naruto. You and your friend, this Kazukage will go to the regular stands, Yaku says. Yaku, stop this. I let you interrupt the training exams, make a mockery of our tradition with your engagement. But you cannot demand this. This area is for Kagi's only, Hiruzen says. We now st uh, skip a few seconds as we see a beaten up Hiruzen and Kazukage running out of the stands, bleeding everywhere. As Yaku decided to have some fun and shot a blast, disintegrating their clothes. But before she can even see their disgusting bodies, she turned to look at Naruto as she blushed at Naruto's body so she doesn't have to see the disgusting sight. The leaf and the sand were shocked to see their beloved Kage's running naked as they all saw them all battered up. My beloved Naruto darling, I can't wait to see you defeat that dumb redhead monster and then we could go and picnic and have some fun and maybe we can practice baby making, Yaku says as she dreamed of her picnic and the things Naruto would do to her. Back to the fight, after getting the go from the Hokage and the Kazukage, the proctor stepped up and made sure the two con contestants were ready as he waved the red flag, signaling them to begin the fight. Gara sent a stream of sand at Naruto, who used the Pokemon move Surf to counter as all the sand got wet and dropped to the floor from the water of the Surf. As the water of the Surf hit Gara, making his sand skin drop as well, as all of the sand in his little bag thing also turned wet. Is that all, Gara? I expected more from the demon of the sand, Naruto says as he looked up in the Kage stand to see Yaku and Mito who were dancing of joy and cheerleading for him as they said go go Naruto as he smiled. What was that you said about killing me? Gara, I guess you're all that. Just bark and no bite. You bijus are weak, Naruto says insulting Shukaku causing both Gara and Shukaku to get mad as both of them started to leak nine tails. I'm one tails chakra, and the sand started to come out of nowhere. How dare you mock mother? Nobody mocks mother. Mother is the strongest. I will prove my existence by killing you, Gara says. Naruto starts to laugh at seeing Gara's pathetic display of anger. I'm so terrified now. Yeah, right, like I'd be terrified of a boy who call, calls a male demon his mother, Naruto says, mocking him, as Shukaku got mad, and so did Gara. Don't disrespect mother, she is better than you. Perhaps I will take your fiancé, your mate, and show her a real man, like mother tells me to. Just you wait, I'll make you watch as well, Gara says, as Shikaku forms sand, not knowing how angry Naruto got, as Naruto was enveloped in golden light. Ha 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 ha, kid, you're gonna pay for the disrespect you show me. Then I will have my host have fun with your fiancé in front of you, Shikaku says as he was fully formed. As Naruto got even more mad. Naruto, take my power. Show this low class demon what happens when he messes with your mate. Show him the power of a Jinchuriki of a god, the Jinchuriki of Arceus, Arceus says from his mind as Naruto's golden aura grew as the world started to shake from the power output. Lava started to spill from the ground as the clouds started to swirl from around Naruto. The weather started to change as it went from snow to rain to thunder to hail as tsunamis, earthquakes and other natural disasters happened. As the clouds turned golden, Naruto then let out a huge roar that sent everyone flying out of the village. The civilians were killed while Genins and rookies just barely managed to use their chakra to save themselves. The Tunins and Jonins managed to save themselves but still came out damaged a bit. Yaku and Mito however were fine because Yaku made a barrier. When the smoke died down, even those sent flying out of the village which was all except from Yaku and Naruto and Mito 
because even Shikaku was set flying out. The smoke finally died down to Rio Nato in what looked like a golden horse, a golden version of Arceus, as they saw unrivaled power before their eyes. Now you will see the power of a god, mortal, Nato says, as in seconds he appeared in front of Shikaku, punched him, sending him flying, before he gave Shikaku's tails a grab and slammed him into the ground, destroying the Uchiha and Hyuga compound. Nato then kicked Shikaku, sending him flying into the Inazuka district and then making Shikaku land on Jirai's house. Nato then smashed Shikaku into the village like he was a hammer, making sure not to touch his house. Nato having enough threw Shikaku in the air as his eyes goes red and Shikaku was destroyed because Nato just used Arceus' most powerful move judgement which could erase anyone or anything. The sand fell down as only Gara was left with a little bit of Shikaku chakra, just enough to awaken the tentos. As several joining, who made it back to the leaf to secure the village were killed as the sand fell on them, squishing them. Nato walked to the arena as he turned around and saw Yaka kiss him, as Mito came and hugged him. Eventually everybody returned to the destroyed leaf village and saw it was in a worse state than the Ninetos attack. The three had explosions as Yaka used the Bakugan to see what was happening, only to see Orochimaru and Huzan fighting as well as several other leaf shinobis fighting the sound in hand. So what's going on Yaku-chan? Nato asked, with his head tilted which Yaku found cute and she instantly coddled his head between her breasts. Mito puffed her cheeks and did a mega pout as she wanted to be hugged too. Nato darling, it seems that the sand and sound have an alliance to take down this hellhole and the old man will finally meet his end. He'd fight the rogue Sanin, Orochimaru as well as Hashirama, uh, Tobirama and well your father as well, Yaku says. Well then, let's just go to the Namikaze compound. I'm not helping this village out, Nato says. But then his eyes rested on Gara. But before I go, I will go and deliver this prize to the Akatsuki, Nato says, as he grabbed Gara by the hair and teleports him to the Akatsuki base and teleports back as Mito hugs him, making Yaku pout as Yaku pries her off and hugs her Nato. The three then go to the Namikaze estate, ignoring the screams and bloodsheds and the yells for help. Mito is away from them as Nato yawned when they entered the house as Yaku dragged him to their room as Mita went to her room. Days later, an Ambu knocked at Nato's door and Nato opened it. What is it? Nato says. Shut up! You and your little group of scaredy cats have been summoned to the Kagi's tower by Snadi Senju, the new Hokage. You disgust me. You never even came to the first funeral and you cowards hid out in this compound while the invasion was happening, the Ambu said. Sorry, me and Yaku were making out, and Mito was tired. Nato says, knowing it will piss off the Ambu. Why, you little disrespectful little shit? All the shinobis are required to attend the funeral of the Kagis, and you are required to help out in invasions. But you and your little whore had a makeout session, and you think that's more important? Lots of people died because of you. Lots of shinobis could have been saved. And not to forget that power up you used killed so many, all, actually, all of the civilians, the Ambu says, as Nato, Nato kicked him in the balls with some of Arceus's power. Listen here you little weak shit, we'll be there in an hour, we're not going now and I suggest you show me some respect or else I will show you the power that I use against Arceus. As Nato slammed the door in the Ambu's face, the Ambu tried to bl blast it open but his father's seals weren't weak, in fact they were impenetrable as he and Yaku cuddled up. An hour later, the three were walking to the Kage's office with Shinobis looking at him with disgust, anger and rage while looking at all three of them with disgust, anger and rage. Mito and Yaku were also getting glared. Look, it's the cowards. They hid while Lord Fur did all the work. I expected this from the demon, but not from, well, that, well, from Lord Fourth's daughter and the Bakugan princess. Lord Mem is the only good Namakazi. That demon used that horse transformation and killed all our villagers. Hopefully Lady Tsunade executes them. Our rookies are still damaged because of them, was what uh, Yaku and Artemita heard as they smiled. Nato darling, is this what you had to go through? Yako asked as Nato nodded as she pulled him into a hug. So this is what Onichan had to go through because of Jiraiya. I don't want to be Hokage anymore for this dirty village. I'm going to help Nato and Yaku fix this world. The three arrived to see Tsunade and Jiraiya in the office. Nato Uzumaki Namakazi, Mito Uzumaki Namakazi and Yako Suski. So you are the ones who were cowards and let the leaf village be overwhelmed while you slept in your father's protected compound, Tsunade says. Well, I did do that, but I also took out the one tails that was more of a threat than Orochimaru himself, Nato says, smugly. How dare you! The third 
could have used your help, you stupid idiot, Dryer says. Well, what I did was more than enough for this village, considering what the village has done to me, Naruto says. How dare you, your treatment in this village for, was for good cause, you selfish prick. This prophecy demanded it, Dryer says, as Yako appeared in front of him, punching him over and over. Then Snardi called the Ambu, however Mita took them out. You two stop, Naruto says, as he looks at Snardi with a glare. Tell me, what do you want? Naruto says. Well, Naruto, we want you to give your Namakaze Uzumaki air rights to Memma. I don't care if you stop the one tails. You don't deserve that, you coward, Dryer says. I'm guessing you agree with him, Naruto says, as Snardi nodded. Well, I won't give my father and mother's gift to anyone, Naruto says, as Dry launched himself at Naruto. You fool, we have to keep your child prophecy happy. We'll give him all the needs, even that girl, Dryer says, as Naruto laughed. Never, Naruto says, as Yako in intercepted uh, Dryer's hit uh, attack and used a kunai to cut his penis off. As she then does some hand signs, as then his books are lit on fire. Yako was about to go and stab him over and over b before he died, but not to hog the and stopping her. He knew that she could get in trouble for King Dryer. The three walked home, as when they got there, Memo was there. So, Demon, have you finally come to give me my rights to the Uzumaki Namakazi and the girl? Memo says, looking at Yako, but Yako kneed him in the dick and kicked him over and over. My dick? Why did she keep and hit my dick? Memo says, I must kill you, Memo. He's getting in the way of me and Naruto. My darling Naruto, Yaku says to herself as Naruto hugged her. You think I will give you my rights? Never, Naruto says, kicking him out of the Uzumaki compound as the three entered the house. Time skip a month. The three stayed in the house, avoiding being harassed. When they heard knocking, Naruto opened the door to see it was Shikamaru. Naruto, we need your help. Sasuke defected, Shikamaru says. And why shouldn't my darling Naruto care? Yaku says as she held Naruto protectively. Shikamaru, you're the only good person who treat me fairly. Leave, and I won't hurt you. I already told Snardi that anybody that enters this compound is an enemy and will be killed. And until she gives us rights and stops treating Memma like he's a god and treats us all fairly, we won't be going on missions, Naruto says. As Shikamaru sighed. One day later, the retriever team returned empty-handed with Memma nearly dead. Not to meet on Yako according to Sonali's office. You selfish idiots. I sent Shikamaru to, to ask you for your help and you declined. Now we are missing our greatest asset, the Uchiha, Sonali says. Should have agreed to our conditions then, Yako says, as Naruto nodded, agreeing with her as Yako found that cute and pulled him into a hug. How dare you, Sonali says. This is a strike for our rights, Mito says. The mission failed because of your own arrogance, Naruto says. How dare you, Naruto, Sako says, slapping him, as Yako got mad. You should have gone like the good leaf dog, attack dog you are, Sako continued as Yaku's anger rose even further. It's not my fault he's gone, Naruto says. It is all your fault he's gone in the hands of that monster Orochimaru. I bet you two were working together. You two are both monsters. You just wanted him to get away from Yaku, Sako says. As Memma smiled hoping Yaku would see Naruto as a monster and then he could get her. Yeah, you're a monster. He was our classmate, our friend and you let him get taken. For what? For power, money, fame? For yes, for Yaku? Memma says as Hinata stepped up. Memma kun is right, you monster, Hinata says, as she was trying to impress Memma. However, they were all cut off when Yaku slapped Saka, Memma and Hinata, sending them flying. That's it, I haven't had enough, Yaku says, as she looked at uh, uh, Naruto and nodded as he nodded back as his sister caught on. As they all pulled out a kunai and drew a line in the middle as they put on the Akatsuki robes. Mito, Naruto, Yaku, you're part of the Akatsuki, you idiots. Why, they will kill Mito, Jiraiya said, with fear as Naruto starts laughing, causing the others to laugh. No, they won't, Naruto says. Well, Naruto and Yaku convinced them that they just need the dark side of the Nine Tails. So, your favorite student will be targeted, Mito says. And take this as a regulation, Yaku says, as she stabbed Sakura, killing her, or leaving her near death, actually, as the three went to the Namakaze house but making the others think that they left the village. Naruto, Yaku and Mito were currently sealing all the Namikaze scrolls away. All the man money, all the valuables, everything into their scrolls. When they were done, they put explosives everywhere as they left the compound. It was night so no one knew. Boom! A giant explosion woke up the village as Naruto used this chance with the girls to escape. 
Both Nata and Mito and also Yaku winced as they saw their family house destroyed. Yaku patted Nata on the head as they flew to the rain village. When they arrived there, they saw the one, three, four, five, and six, and seven tails have already been captured and also put into the statue, the ten tails statue, leaving only the two and eight tails and also the nine tails to be captured. Ah, Naruto, Yaku, and Mito, so good that you can drain us. I presume you weakened the leaf enough for our plans to be done without any problems, Pain says. The leaf village has been weakened. This will make other villagers see it as an opportunity to become stronger by attacking them and we can use this wall to catch the Jinchurikis off guard, Naruto says, as Jago stepped up. Now Pain, tell me where mine and Naruto darling's room is, Jago says making Naruto blush as Zetsu escorted them to their rooms. The male half of the Akatsuki looked at Naruto with jealousy as a scream of pain was heard from Pain when Conan stomped on his foot and pulled his ear. Stop looking at her like that. And that goes for the rest of you perverts, she says, before Mito looks at the men with disgust. But Konan-senpai, Yaku-sama is so hot, Toby says, as he screams in pain when Mito kicked him in the balls. Don't look at my sister-in-law like that, you disgusting Uchiha, Mito says, as her Ninetales eyes activated. As Toby yelled, clanist, and ran behind Daedra as he hugged his leg. Ah, Daedra-senpai. Protect me from that demon, he says as Daedra threw him at Mito, who was angry at Obito for disrespecting her sister and calling her demon, as she walked up to him. So, Uchiha, it's time you learnt your place, Mito says, as she went up to Toby, who was screaming in terror as she came closer and closer. Daedra Senpai, help me, Toby yelled. When Mito got close, she started to beat on him over and over, as the Akatsuki members finally learnt fear. For the first time, as or the only thing that was heard throughout this rain village was screams of Toby in pain and anguish. Mito left to her room as she told everyone that if anyone helps Toby, they'll be next. So the Okatsuki members quickly rushed to their rooms, leaving Toby bleeding out. Even Zetsu ran away as everyone was scared apart from Conan. But Conan didn't care about Toby, so she left him there. That pervert deserved it as Toby was in his blood, a pl pile of his blood. So she left him begging to help her, to help him. Because of his located limbs and clawed body and other wounds. Back with Naruto. Naruto was currently on top of Yaku as the two was engaging in bedtime sparring. When Mita walked into the room, Yaku was moaning Naruto's name. Naruto, do you want to? What the hell are you? I'm, I'm so sorry, Mita says as she runs out. It's so big. Oni-chan is so big, she thought, as she saw her older brother, Memma, when he was naked and he was tiny, even tinier than her pinky finger, even tinier than her thumb. In fact, it was so tiny that it was a one-incher. But Naruto's was a giant. I guess Naruto, Oni-chan took all of the size, he says. I think we scarred her, Naruto says, as Jaku chuckles. Well, she needs to learn about it anyways, and she's gonna have to get ready and learn if she wants to do it with her man, Yaku says. No, never. Nobody is allowed to touch her. No man will ever touch my sister. And no, no other man will ever touch my daughter either, Naruto says, as Yaku found Naruto's overprotectiveness cute. Now the Naruto, pound me, she says, as Naruto and Yaku resume the session. The Akatsuki members were kept up for the rest of their week. The male members were jealous. Well, Kona and Mito, well, let's just say they spent time the week in the bedroom fingering themselves. A week later, Naruto and Yaku had entered to see the Katsuki males with bags under their eyes while the females had a unsatisfied look on their face as they were all glaring at them. Why are you so angry? Naruto asked obliviously as Kasami exploded. You two need to learn silencing seals. You kept us awake, idiot. And how did you last a week? Kasami says. Sorry, I didn't give my secrets, but I wasn't even trying. I could easily go more than a week, Naruto says. Truthfully, as his oblivious nature showed. Anyways, we're getting off track, Naruto says. Anyway, we're getting off track, Naruto. You and Yaku are to go to the cloud and capture the two and eight tails, Pain says. Very well, Naruto says, as the two got ready to leave. Naruto, darling, let's get ready, but we need to leave in a few hours. I'll get some food in case you're hungry. Oh, and some cl clothes in case you get dirty. Well, we get dirty, she says, while we do our activities, Yaku added on as Yaku says that Naruto chuckles. 
Lucky bastard, he gets that goddess for himself. The male Akatsuki member said. Oh yeah, and Toby was it? You ugly and disgusting Uchiha. No wonder you hide your face behind the mask. I mean Uchiha's are naturally ugly and emo looking. No girl would ever want to be with you. And I would never be with you. You're ugly and you're Uchiha. Not even the Genjutsu Infinite Sukiyomi will fix that. I will never love an Uchiha. Yaku says as Toby cries into Daedra's arm. Daedra senpai, she said I was ugly. Toby says, a few hours later, Nata came to see Yaku with tons of ramen being sealed into her scrolls. Yaku then comes to Nata and hugs him, as the two hold on to each other and they fly away. The two finally make it to the cloud village, as Yaku creates a giant black bowl and throws it at the village, destroying the gate. As they walked in, thousands of cloud shinobi bodies were littered on the ground. Bring us Killer B and Yukito, or die, Nata says, as they again and run to find them. Eventually, the two came with the Raikage. Akatsuki scum, how dare you attack us, the great cloud village, Raikage says, as both Naruto and Yaku chuckled, before Naruto used his teleport to teleport in front of Raikage, and then hits him with a thunder wave paralyzing him. What did you do to me? Why can't I move? I demand you let me go, and let me move, Raikage yelled, trying to move. You can't move, now surrender your Jinchuriki to us, and we will leave, or else the death count is on your conscience, Naruto says. Never you dirty scum, Yuguto says as she appears out of nowhere and she charges at Naruto but a pissed off Yaku intercepts her by catching her hand and flipping her over before kicking her back which sent her into the sky. She then appeared in front of Yuguto, floating, who was still falling as she punched Yuguto in the stomach, knocking her out. Yuguto no, Killer B says as he rushed to help by trying to attack Yaku but Naruto kicked him away in an instant with teleport and a high jump kick. As Killer B was sent flying, Killer B then began to transform into his 8 toes mode. B threw a punch with Gyuki's tentacles but Naruto caught it. But suddenly a crimson aura Yaku was seen as she kicked Killer B sending him flying away until he de transformed. How, how dare you use tentacles on my Naruto darling. You dare try to do tentacle rape on my Naruto darling. Yaku says, Yaku-chan, it's my turn to fight Naruto says pouting as Yaku found that cute and instantly her aura disappeared but she glared at Killer B one last time who promised never to use the tentacles mentally because she because he was scared as she gave Naruto the okay to fight. So you are back boy, it's a good thing that scary woman isn't fighting you, B says as he transforms into his eight tails but then it was destroyed as he saw Naruto in front of him. Unknown to him, Naruto had used extreme speed as well as cut to cut his BG body as Naruto then used sleep powder which made B fall asleep as not both Naruto and Yaku grabbed the Jinchurikis. Farewell Raikage, next time hopefully you can provide a fight Naruto says with it B in his hands while, while Yaku had Yukito in hers as the two flew out. The two flew at top speed towards the Akatsuki base and within seconds they were at the base. Naruto then placed Killer B on the altar while Yaku did the same to Yukito as both Naruto and Yaku with the high chakra levels were able to instantly remove the tailed beast as pain sealed them into the statue. Now all they needed was the nine tails. Good work Naruto, Yaku, Pain says as they both just waved them off as they went to their room as then the Akatsuki males, actually the whole Akatsuki members heard the sounds of the nightmares. Oh Naruto-kun, Yaku moaned as the Akatsuki was despairing because they would have nightly sleeps once more. A month later, Naruto and Yaku had just gone out of their room. After Naruto had done Yaku for a month straight, Naruto avoided a sudden attack from Daedra before Daedra suddenly found himself in pain as he screamed out in pain before his body was turned to ash. That's what you de deserve for trying to hurt my Naruto darling, Yaku says as everyone was shocked at how far she killed him. Sh she killed him, Sasuke says in fear. He tried to kill my Naruto darling, so I killed him. Have a problem with that, Grunt? Yaku says, as the Akatsuki members were too scared to even say anything, so they quickly moved topics, not wanting to die. Pain then explained how they were going to attack the Leaf for the Ninetales. Naruto! That Itachi! Still working for the Leaf Village. He's undercover, I can sense it, Arceus says in his head. Naruto got angry as he followed Itachi after the meeting, with Yaku secretly following Naruto. As Naruto saw Itachi summon a crow and tell it to give a little note to the leaf village. But when the bird took off, it was quickly struck down by a thunder. 
so itachi you thought you could warn that miserable village miserable village finally i can kill nichia they're the reason my parents were murdered but your sharingan i think i will take it i mean it's the best way to make sasuke suffer after i kill you it will sh serve as proof that i killed you as then it will show sasuke that i've taken away everything he's ever wanted i have yaoka and i've also taken away his goal of killing you Nato says, Nato, you can't. Our home is the leaf. And Sasuke needs to redeem the Uchiha's. Itachi says, of desperation, as Nato starts to laugh. Redemption? There's no redemption for your filthy, disgraceful clan. The only redemption he and your clan will be getting is in hell. And the Uchiha's shall never be restored. That's not happening. I'll make sure of that. They took away my parents. Nato says, Don't speak of my clan that way, you bastard, you dirty demon. You dare oppose the leaf, the greatest village. I've been waiting to beat you since I heard what you did to the leaf and what you did to Sasuke. I was the one that put a genjutsu on Daedra to kill you. You are a threat to the leaf and you must be disposed of. Disposed of, Itachi says. As Naruto got mad, Itachi activated his mangiko and said Amaterasu as black flames went to Naruto. Protect Naruto says as he was protected from the flames as they dispelled eventually because Patek destroyed the flames. Secure me, Naruto, Itachi says, as Naruto used extreme speed to get out of range. As Naruto used close combat, punching Itachi all over as he started to bleed, as he dropped to his leg. Look at you, filthy Uchiha, in a position that suits you, kneeling before an Uzumaki. You dare stand against my revenge. Your dirty blood ties. Your dirty, bl b your dirty clansmen dare kill my mother, my father. Naruto says, as he stomps, on, on Itachi's face, reshaping it, making him bleed even more. I won't give up. Susno, Itachi says, as he rushed at Naruto with his half body Susno. As Naruto catches it before he uses a fire blast, sending it back. Is that all? Naruto says with disappointment, while Itachi, of anger and frustration and also his mind being broken, kept on slashing at Naruto, who only blocked with a finger. Disable, Naruto says, as he used the Pokemon move Disable, which disabled the Susno as Itachi dropped out. Naruto then ripped out Itachi's eyes before using a flamethrower to burn his body. After that, Zetsu had implanted the eyes into Naruto. However, what happened next shocked the Zetsu as the Shogun morphed into the Rinnegan before it, it took the form of an internal manga Koshangan. As Zetsu smiled, You really are a prodigy. Sister chose well, Zetsu said to himself. We now see Naruto, Yako, and Akatsuki, the remaining Akatsuki standing outside the rebuilt leaf village. It's time for my revenge. Leaf, you shall now pay. Face the judgment, Naruto says, as pain hovers above the village. Shinra Tensi, pain says. Shinra Tensi, pain says, as the whole leaf village was blown away. When the dust cleared, all that was seen was rubble, until slugs starting pop popping up out of nowhere, with the rookies and Snardi and Dryer inside of them, as well as the council heads. When that happened, both Naruto and Yaku landed on the floor kissing each other, which made Memma and Sasuke get mad. Get the hell away from Yaku-chan, they yelled. As Yaku started to use her tongue in Naruto's mouth, as they continued for five minutes straight before they stopped. Ugh, my darling Naruto, after this, let's do what we did for a month, but raw and without protection, Yaku says. As you wish, my goddess, Naruto says. What did you do to Yaku, Sasuke demanded. You better have not done what I think you did, Memma says. Yaku, don't tell me you allowed him to. Please, please don't tell me you let that demon. Sakura was about to say more until she felt killing attack coming from Yaku, making her shut up. Well, Memma, Sasuke, not and I did it. And yes, it was so good. He was so good and big, Yaku says dreamily. You fucking whore. He not is better than you. Anyways, I felt sorry for you. That's the only reason why I wanted to be with you. But if you want to be with a demon, find and ruin your life, Mama says. Ha, as if you were totally into me. I mean, you always followed me around like a dog. Always asked me for dates. You and that dirty Uchiha dog there thought that you could get me. But guess what? I'm Naruto's and I always will be. Now, I will make you all suffer for flirting with me in the presence of my darling Naruto. Summer, Yaku says as a red oil appears. Naruto, stop! This is Leaf. Your home, Minato Krishna died protecting it. Don't let that girl influence you, Jai says. Wrong. Leaf was never my home. My home is the Akatsuki and where the Yaku. Well, not even the Akatsuki, only Yaku. 
and this place was only a prison and my mother and father died protecting me and me too not you lots notices now it's the end attack akatsuki pain says as they rush towards the leaf village not to dash towards memma as he uses extreme speed and thunder punch and then a thunder wave paralyzing him he then used sleep powder as he teleported to one of the paths of pain and helped with the unseating when not was done with that not to teleport back to see oak to stab pain and take the renegon Sasuke charges at Naruto with a Susanoo. He then unlocks. He he then unlock. He unlocked his mangaku when he heard how Naruto took Yaku's virginity. Why? Why does Yaku choose a dope like you, a demon, a failure? She should have chose me, an Uchiha elite, a prince, the best. Sasuke says as he punches Naruto over and over, over and over, only for Naruto to stop the attacks with his palms, and then Naruto used a shot wave sending Sus. No flying back before it shattered. Because Yaku chan doesn't like Uchiha filth like you. She doesn't like pricks like Memo who act like you either. And also, maybe because she likes me, Naruto, not you. Sasuke, Memo, Kiba, Neji, Rockley, you are all ugly. She'll never like you. She only likes Naruto. Now shut up, Naruto yelled, getting mad at seeing some dirty Uchiha complaining about not getting his goal. Naruto does a low sweep kick on Sasuke. Who is barely standing as Naruto up close? Naruto's eyes then morph to Itachi's Sharingan, the manga version. As Naruto laughed, you see, dirty Uchiha filth. Not only did I take Yaku, the one you love, who uh, who only loved me, I I took your only other girl as well. Kenning Itachi, Naruto says as he laughs, as Yaku came from behind and hugged Naruto before she kissed him. No, how dare you! I was meant to avenge the Uchiha, and I was also meant to rep- reproduce with her. Sasuke says as he rushes towards Naruto. Only to be stopped by a hand on his shoulder, he saw M- Memma, who then walked up to Sasuke. Let's do this together, Sasuke. Let's teach this demon his place when he acts our place. He was only born to serve this village as a weapon. He took our girl, and he also took away your revenge, and he also took away my nine toes power. We must get revenge, Memma says as he activates Sage Mode and summons Gunbunta. While Sasuke summons Manda, Sakura then also appears. I too will help you. Memo kun, Sasuke kun, Sakura says as she summons Katsuyu. Interesting, let's see how you do against me at my full power, Naruto says as golden energy formed around him and he turned into Arceus. Naruto then uses his claws to hit this summons as then he saw Gamma Bunta bring a blade down on Naruto while jumping up only for Naruto to not even budge as the sword never even got close to Naruto. The air pressure around Naruto was that thick that Gamma Bunta couldn't penetrate it. Naruto then saw Manda trying to do a sneak attack and once again they failed because of the air pressure. Naruto looked bored. Judgment, Naruto says, as the summons were erased from existence as well as the whole summoning realm. The Leaf team's summoning tattoos disappeared. What, what did you do? Memma yelled as Naruto turned to face Memma as he turned back to his human form. I erased all the toads, snakes and slugs from this world. Well, the ones that use chakra. Now, those cans don't exist anymore. Naruto says as he started laughing harder, as he then used whirlwind to send them flying back. Naruto then saw Madra, who re- revived by Obito's Rinnegan, and then he ripped out Obito's Rinnegan and then ab- absorbed the Tentos as he became the Tento Jinchuriki. Naruto used teleport to get to Madra's side and then punched him to the ground as Zetsu leached onto him and morphed into Kaguya. Mommy, Yaku yelled. As she rushed towards Kage with tears in her eyes as Kage embraced Yaku. She then let go of Yaku and hugged Naruto. Now then, it's time to raise this filthy village. That hurt my Naruto darling, Yaku says. But before I do that, let me tell you something, Leaf Village. I was the one that eliminated the Hyuga clan. I eliminated Inuzuka and I also eliminated the civilian council. You want to know why? Because they were all threats to my naruto kin. As Yaku had a yandri smile. As in the... Village realized that Yaku wasn't a sweet angel, but a demon, just like Naruto, as they started shouting demon, demon, demon. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to torture you all and then kill you, Yaku says. But before, but before you do that, Yaku-chan, mother-in-law, do it, Naruto says as Kage nods. Six-part art, reversal, zero chakra, Kage says as the shinobi fought the chakra leave them. What's going on, Naruto? Kisame and the other Katsuki members ask as they fought the chakra being ripped at them. As Yaku chuckles, you don't understand, do you? This was the whole point of the plan, to revive my mother and take away all the chakra so that we may rule this world, 
Yaku says. You all served your purpose. I thought that you will be given a swift death so you don't have to live in this world where most humans will be tortured for everything that you humans have done to my Naruto. Yaku says as bones appeared killing them all. Now then, it's time to finish taking over this world. Naruto says, Stop right there, Naruto. You might be the child of prophecy. You might be my chosen one, but I won't let you destroy this world. Arceus, kill him, says a paled skinned man with the Rinnegan. As nothing happens, as Naruto started to chuckle. Ha ha ha. You see, Hagoromo, Sage of Six Pass. Arceus told me all about you. He told me about my destiny to decide the fate of this world. Not save it, but to decide the fate of this world. And in my eyes, this world has failed in my judgment. So I will take over it and lead it to success and glory. And also Arceus is on my side. Nato says, And we don't need someone like you, brother, for stealing away me and mother. Yaku says, For allowing the Dinchurkis to be treated like trash, Nato says. And also for opposing your own mother, you disgusting filth. Kage says, For that, we all sentence you to death, Hagoromo. Yaku, Nato and Kage says, Naruto, how could you? You were meant to save this world, not doom it, Hagoromo says. You have the audacity to tell me what to do. After what you did to your own unborn sister, seal her away. You also sealed away your own mother. You're exactly like the Leaf Village, doing everything for fame. Well, guess what? I'm not like you, and I'll never be like you. I may be... I am Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze Osusuke, the god of judgment, and the Pokemon god Arceus is Jinchuriki. And I will not take orders from you, Hagoromo, Naruto says. So, you oppose my plans to save this world, Naruto. Very well, you heretic. I shall kill you here and save the world myself. I have already broken the laws and escaped the Shinigami and the afterlife itself. So, going against the prophecy isn't going to change my fate of being destroyed, Hagoromo says. As he unveils the scroll as a dead body pops out. Rene Rebirth, he says, as he puts his hand on the dead body of the person as the person rises up. The person was deorientated, but then he recognizes Hagoromu. Brother, what's going on? He says, looking on. Wait, is that mother? What is she doing here? I thought we sealed her away. Hamura said, No brother, that heretic, Naruto, who was meant to be my child of prophecy has opposed us and our will and humanity itself and has mated with our sister. He has also freed mother to please her or whatever and has also Help take back mother's chakra that we gave to humans. We need to stop him, brother. We need to do that now. Hagoromo says, Very well, brother. I shall support you, Hamura said. As he looked at a shinobi and put his hand on the shinobi's head. As the shinobi felt chakra return to him, as a Rinnegan appeared on his eyes, which surprised him because he wasn't a Hugo. As a mark then appeared on his face before Hamura went to his brother and turned into a chakra fruit. Hamura Hamra was then eaten by Hagoromu, as the shinobi that Hamra put his mark on suddenly turned into Hamra, as that was a karma seal. I'm ready brother, Hamra said as he returned to his brother's side. Now brother, let's finish off these heretics. You're strong enough to defeat mother now because you have both of our powers, Hamra says. Hagoromu rushes at Kage with the intent to kill her as he launches his truth seeking orbs at her. But not a used extreme speed and miracle sending them back towards Hamra and Hagoromo blowing their hands off before he appeared in front of Hamra with teleport and then used close combat to beat him and then a high jump kick sending Hamra flying into Hagoromo as both of them were lying on the floor. Is that all the power you have Hagoromo, Hamra? You are both disgraces to the title of God. Yaku is far stronger than you and she is way younger than you. And also way more sexy than you, but let's not get into that, Naruto says, as Yaku blushed. M my Naruto darling, he has called me sexy. I knew it. My darling wouldn't care about anyone other than me, Yaku thought. A Roman Hamra then got up. Don't talk to us as if you are our, our equal heretic. We are gods. You went against the humanity. You went against your prophecy. You went against the prophecy. You went ag against the purpose that you had in this life. A Roman says, making Naruto scoff. How could you... A human yourself, abandon humanity. The very race for the Osuskis, Hamra says with disgust. It was never my destiny to save this world. That was what you wanted. It was my destiny to judge this world and I judged it unworthy. Do you know how much abuse I went through? Humanity is disgusting and rotten to the core and they must either be destroyed or controlled. That is my verdict, Naruto says. 
I won't allow it. You've been corrupted by my sister and the Suski scum, says Hagromo as Yaku looked hurt that her own brother would say that, as that made Kaguya see this and hug her, as Naruto got mad. She was the only one that was there for me, as well as Mito, but even Mito agrees with me that humanity needs to be destroyed or controlled. Naruto yells, don't yell at us, you dirty little bug, Hamra says, as Yaku getting out of the sadness and anger at what this bastard called her, naruto -kun, uses her speed to appear in front of Hamra, as he as she crushes her head, as she crushes his head with a stomp killing him. Never talk to Nartkin like that or else your fate will be similar, she says looking at everyone. As they see Hamra's stomped on head which was destroyed. She was about to go and attack Hagoromo but then Narta suddenly pulled her into a hug and kissed her on the lips which stopped her. Let me handle this Yaku-chan, I need to kill him for what he said about you. Nata says lovingly and protectively as Yako blushed and nodded as she went over to Kagi and Mito. As Mito and Kagi were making sure that she was okay. Now Hagoromo, prepare to face my full power Nata says as a golden aura forms around Nata taking the form of Arceus as all their plates appear around him. So you finally decide to take this seriously. Let me show you the true power, the power that I use to best the ten tails Hagoromo says as Susno appeared. Naruto in blinding speeds was in front of Susumu as he used close combat to launch a barrage of punches shattering the Susumu as Hagoromo reformed it and used the sword to try and slash at Naruto in his Arceus mode. He just caught the Susumu sword and used it to spin Hagoromo around and throw him into the leaf side of the village with people from the leaf getting killed at least 75% of the leaf population were killed from the impact as Tsunade and Dryer were screamed out in anger and rage. It was now over, Naruto sister says as Naruto looks at Hagoromo. It's over Hagoromo, judgment Naruto says as Hagoromo disintegrated. Now people of elemental nation, your god Hagoromo Suski, actually your former god, the sage of six paths is now been defeated. Now I have ownership of the elemental nations. You shall now obey Naruto and Yaku, Uzumaki Namakaze Suski, the new rulers of this world and new king and queen of this planet. Planet Naruto, Naruto says as some tried to rebel, however Zetsu clones put them in their places. Time skip, 10 years. Naruto and Yaku are seen lying down on Naruto's chest as Yaku had a head on Naruto's chest as they suddenly heard the door slam open. Mommy, Papa, it's Naruto day, the day 10 years ago where you took back the world, Naruto says. As then Naruto got prepared, another time skip about a, one or two hours after Naruto and Yaku was ready. Ladies and gentlemen, now as tradition for every 10 years, we shall now stone the evil leaf villagers as you see lots of guards bringing out leaf shinobis as every single civilian ever from every other village starts stoning them. Down with the leaf demons who are there to oppose God. Down with the leaf demons that dare to strike our God. That's what they were chanting as Naruto laughed at them. As then Naruto walked up to Menma. Oh yeah, Menma, I heard that you had a child. Naruto says as he grabbed Menma's child and ripped his head off. <laughs> Not anymore, Naruto says. As then Hinata and Menma screamed. How dare you, Naruto? That was our child. You damn D. Before he could finish that word, a stone was thrown at his mouth. Never call our god a demon, everybody yelled. As he also banged out the five Kages. The right Kage, Mizukage. And this one, the Mizukage is Yagura. Onaki and Gara's father and Sonade. As then you met these five Kages, they kept you in war for the lot before the last ten years. As then the civilians tried to stone them. The only civilians that wasn't there was the Leaf Shinobis who were busy getting stoned themselves. As then Naruto goes like now as then he nodded to his gods who forced the Leaf Shinobis to look. We should now do the burning leaf festival. As then they saw a copy of the leaf village where the leaf village used to lie. As then everybody started to burn it down. As then Naruto looked at them. Look at your proud village getting burned down over and over again. How does it feel to watch this over again on this anniversary? Naruto says. As then Sonali like, you monster. How could you? And then Naruto's like, I'm no monster. I am just God. As then Naruto goes like, enjoy your time with, well, the criminals. 
actually not even the criminals enjoy your time with the guards as then the guards are like I'm gonna enjoy you tonight Snadi as then they took him back to the prison and now we see Naruto and Yaku literally with the daughter then Yaku sits on Naruto's lap and then Naruto sits on Naruto's lap other lap and then she's like daddy I want to know how you beat the evil leaf demons as then dad as then Naruto went like let me tell your story then but guys that's all for today actually that's all for the series peace peace peace